Welcome. Thank you for tuning in again for Recipes for Disaster, uh, or R4D as the initials are. Uh, got a few things, uh, amazing things planned. Just wanted to do a quick happy Halloween out there, even though it's not officially our Halloween episode. Um, Why would this not be our Halloween episode? Well, because I forgot to say it would be the Halloween episode. So I was thinking next episode we'll also do Halloween. Just to extend Halloween a little bit, because it is my favorite, uh, my no, favorite Halloween's, season. Halloween's coming up. Yeah, that's nice. So, so next next Sunday, next Sunday, uh, feel free to dress along with us, and all of us will come in costume again. For those of us that didn't, like myself, um, for Halloween, and uh, we are also going to be changing the time a little bit. So instead of starting at seven, um, due to the pains of the real world, we're going to actually start at seven thirty, starting next Sunday. So please tune in at 7.30. All of us will still be getting here at the same time that we always try to be here. But this way, it just gives us a little bit more time to make sure everything's up and running beautifully before we get started. I want to do a quick shout out to Mindless Imagination Studios. Thank you for allowing us to use your wonderful location. Um, as well as to... Epic World and Games. Epic World and Games. Thank you. Um, in Copperopolis, so continue doing what you're doing and everyone that needs to have some fun and wants to talk to knowledgeable people about role-playing games, board games, and just games in general, drive out to Copperopolis and, and go ahead and talk to Jimmy. He's a great guy. Hi, Jim. Anyone else have any announcements other than, you know, we've got some new looks in here and some m normal faces. We are missing Michael, and I hope Alec shows up tonight, but um, aside from that, we've got everyone else, so... Let's just do a quick look at everybody and uh, say your piece. Trevor, anything? Oh, yeah. Uh, on Thursday at Fortune Favors the Board, uh, we, uh, Rafa, John, and, and Roberto uh, and I, we were able to finish the current campaign of Hero Realms, uh, which was very fun. Uh, some of the chapters were a lot shorter than we anticipated, uh, but as I understand, they have a Kickstarter that's on its way for uh, future campaigns. So if you help donate to that, uh, it'll give us more stuff that we can uh, play, uh, if you like the campaign. Um, we're still working on getting our 8 o'clock uh, starting time under actual being ready at 8. Um, but wasn't it pushed back from 7 to 8 yeah. to make yes. it easier? Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it definitely was. Uh, it was It was supposed to be initially a 7 and then it went to 8. And now it's more like 8, 15, 8, 12. Depends. Yeah, you guys really... So what, what's the... It's a really laid back show. Well, so sometimes we just forget to that? start up. Oh, oh okay. So it's not because you're, you're waiting for something. Check, no. Not usually. Usually it's just we're bullshitting and then Chuck eventually says, oh, by the way, we're rolling. Oh, okay. Okay. Just curious. Yeah. Sounds very laid back. Well, it, it is. It's, it's very much... Actually, if you uh, could uh, take a suggestion... Absolutely. I would actually like to see a board game like uh, Nurse Brisk Between All the Cards. Right. Um, you know, Fortune Favors the board. Not yeah. I mean, we, we did we did play a game that had a board. Um, we did yeah. we did play a game that had a board, and then there was also the one with the train. Because if you and, if, and the train was a board. If you're if you're going to perpetually yes. play like uh, the campaign, then you need to rename the channel. Oh well, well, not not perpetually, but it, it is a show for board and card games. Yeah, but you know alternative forms of tabletop. Like gameplay. people like variety. It was that. Variety? Well, it was, variety, it was uh, I, the only the only reason we continued playing Hero Realms last week instead of doing a different game was because uh, the previous week we had failed our quest, so we needed to redo it. So, what? You can't end on a failure? Is this some no. sort of compulsion? Yes. You have to win. Really? I mean, you know Rafa. According to the game, yes. You Rafa have to wins? win. You know Rafa. You know him, him ending on a losing streak. It just it doesn't sit well with him. But that's him. There, there's pouting. <laughs> Anyway. Um, yeah, but you know, it's more entertaining if he's pouting. True, true. Hey, this is I very mean, mostly true. I mean, after after like a, a few weeks of seeing Rafa gloat, it's like, oh, get him pouting. I want him unhappy. It's too happy. Well, we can definitely make sure that happens. I'll, Correct. 
Truck, we can make sure that uh, Rafa's unhappy, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. For sure. Eric, do you have anything? No. Eric, Eric's unhappy, as you can tell. Well, well I mean, I'm Eric's, always, I'm always well, unhappy. Well, he is the brother of Rafa. Perpetually uh, unhappy. Where Rafa, bastard. you know, likes to be happy so and chipper. They his. balance out. Uh, yeah. Eric's like the unhappy. Rafa's the happy. Like they're they're they're, they're like like this. We can make it so there's only one now. Mm, hey now. Tempted to throw a quote in there, but you know. Chuck, we can make sure that uh, at some point um, Eric is happy, right? We can make sure. Okay, yeah. See, see, we got it. So as long no as hand make jobs sure that... on stream. What? No talking about stuff like that either on stream. <laughs> it's getting dicey in here. <laughs> so Not yet. anyway, Quasi, how about you? Uh, yeah, it's like uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, people stop following me on social media, but this week, uh, if I'd... they're not, they should be. Just... Yeah, yeah. What's uh, your uh, What's your Facebook page? Uh, or uh, whatever social media platform you're choosing to use. Correct. Thank you. At this time, it's uh, Quay under no, no oh gosh, holy cow, I forgot. It's Quasi Chew uh, 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 on Facebook. Anyway, uh, this week I was um, experimenting with making a, a seasonal cheesecake, a pumpkin cheesecake. It died um, miserably. Huh? No, it didn't. Uh, it just like cracked. I mean, the actual cheesecake itself uh, turned out wonderfully. Um, so, and anyways, like, uh, there's a picture of it on Facebook, um, and I took it to Rafa's party yesterday, and it was consumed. Hey, what party? Uh, well, you weren't there, so I didn't take it. And you weren't invited. Well, Tom! I, don't know. I didn't go. I think everybody was invited, right. so. Yeah, no, I, I was invited, <laughs> but I had my, uh, my sons with me, and two of them were sleeping by the time the party started, so I figured it'd be best to stay at home. I was no, no, that's a perfect time know. to take off for a party. I, just, I didn't know there was no. a party. I didn't know until like last minute. I was invited and didn't go. It's but a very strange yeah. thing that I'll tell you guys later about why. Okay. He was getting laid. I have mental disorders, and that's why. Uh, and notice I said mental disorders, not just one. Uh, yeah, he hangs up There's like those. four. Five. five, five but who's counting? At least two. Yeah, at least two. Yeah. Yeah. Not wrong. God, so what did we do last in this game? Oh, hey, what about me? Like... You're skipping me! Oh, right. Uh, George, do you have anything? I got him. Yeah, hey, here, it. use this! Okay. No. Okay, no. and for those that uh, that want to see what it looked like. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Bring it on, that little boy. I, 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 I almost drove to your house to get a slice of that, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah, I mean, I mean <laughs> if, if I wouldn't have been in, in uh, Sacramento at the zoo uh, when you posted that, so he was home. I, I so would have been there for it, but you know, I wasn't anywhere nearby. Yeah, like uh, okay. There's a so perfect so this one. for those that would, <laughs> that wonder what the yeah, blade looks like, this is it right here. It's actual physical blade. Well, that's what it looked like well, so before it got was lost. It looked like it was lost in like a hunter. I, and the other one is like this, only bigger. Yeah, I like and, and, and that is the one that got lost. The bigger one, he, the character still has. Did he say he I, bigger? But I also got... I, you'll be science later on. Okay, okay. But I also got in a fight with a lawnmower. And a pumpkin, if you can't tell. Was it a pumpkin lawnmower? It's like a hybrid thing? Did they also take your money? And no. Who, I got done for free. Who won? Obviously, I did. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> also, way, I the like, Mohawk was supposed to be your beard pink. to match your hair. I run out all the time. It was right in Okay, there. well, so you know, I'm, I'm just pretty sure the carpet doesn't match the curtains anymore. Yeah. Oh, what carpet? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Not only did we not need to know, but nobody asked. <laughs> Okay, so I just got news from Alex. He is on the way. Yay! He, uh, he said he needed to make sure that there was enough uh, apple juice for tonight. Aye! Um, so since he just uh, got off work, he is uh, picking up some, and he should no. be here anywhere in two, 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 two minutes to an hour. Um, so we will uh, we'll see him when he gets here. Um, and, uh, yeah. Okay, you two. Do I have to separate you? Can't we have some really 
Caveats. We children, children, children okay. please. Okay. You took my dice. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Nice you know when Alex gets here that you shuffled. Anyway, um, so. I took my dice. When la nice last time, time on Dark World. <laughs> Last time on Dark World, we had uh, um, success in finding a, a uh, puzzle box. Quasi, if you'll hold that up for people. Not only did they find it, but they figured out how to open it with mm -hmm. the help of the dice. And um, they found the riddle inside. They really? also successfully left the room that was trapped with the box in it. And they started making their way out of the sewers when Velaco insisted that they search the other path as well. Yeah. So, that is where we left off last time. I know it's very brief. There was a lot more that happened, mostly twists and turns and, and no, mental preparation of, of what would happen if, when you ran into Tordrake. A little trepidation and a little excitement all at the same time so we're gonna we're, we're gonna pick up uh tonight with you guys in the cistern waiting to go down one of the tunnels uh currently you did have uh the shadow walker what's his name john scouting ahead the shadow walker that's his name scouting ahead i thought it was a kuna like a matata? Kuna, matata yeah <laughs> and i think it's uh M mukata Akuna Mukata? Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> so how long are you going to wait for word back from him before you start going down the passage yourselves? I mean, I'm... I'm, I'm planning on actually just going down them. Okay. I mean, I thought we were... That was the plan. Hey, we have a plan? Him scout ahead while we're coming up behind him. We have a plan? I didn't know that. Get it, Ray. That's our plan. Who's Ray? It's quote. Oh, hey, hey! Can yeah. you go instant out the So, room? what is the new marching order? Well, I'm still making sure Johar's in front of me. So, hey, I'll run. go first again. I never ran from a fight. You hey, crawled. He doesn't cower away. Either. You crawled. <laughs> I was about to say, he yeah. slinked. He I crawled. cowered away. Slink or slunk? Both. I think lightly I like jogged better, towards but I think the stairs. Yeah, you know, there's a huge difference. Slinking and slunking? No, no, slinking and running away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slinking is so much slower. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so new marching order. I am first. Okay. Can be, um, let's see. Have you seen the fact that he has no blade? And me, Xenia? Is it... Is Faros with us? Or yes. Did he disappear? Okay. Faros will actually um, be floating above you guys to provide light. Oh, okay. Do we have a string attached to him? Is he feeling a little lightheaded? I don't know, are you going to tie one on him? <laughs> No, I think he's feeling a little hot-headed. Yeah, yeah, you know, a little hot. And Actually, it's it's interesting. He seems to be very um, cool. Yeah, so he's not radiating any heat at all, and the fire itself seems to be contained within a solid shell of solidified fire. So it is a balloon. Something like that. Yeah, I was, I was thinking more like a, a big rectangle, almost like a light fixture that's floating above you. Oh, okay. Ye old lanterns. <laughs> oh, you know. It was one of my favorite uh, movies as a kid. The big red balloon. So we have Ivan in the lead. Then we have... Me. Jason. Xenia. Um, Johar. Harry. Volaco. Then Harry in the back. Nope. No, Harry. Harry and Johar are both in front of me. <laughs> so they can't run away. Okay, so I Harry will be in the away. in the exact middle. He'll mm -hmm. be right behind Xenia before Johar. So it's the exact <laughs> same marching order. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was there were a, a little differences last time. Um, but 
It's but, like the team I die. Yeah, it, it is very similar to, to oh, the way it was before. It's over there? Hmm. Okay. Um, so, yes. Ivan. Not right now. Hey. Um, Ivan and Jason, due to the height differences, I need you both to make an initi- or a perception <laughs> rolls. Initiatives. Oh. Perception rolls as you're moving forward. <laughs> 20? And anyone else using other than sight to sense things ahead of you yeah. need to make a power check. George. Six. Nice. 45. 45. George. Right on. Perception of 15 okay. for your sound. <laughs> okay. Tim, it. Not a problem. I don't touch other people's. Lips. I'll wait while you make you while you uh, make your check for your non sight based perception roll. Fifteen. Okay. What's your power rank uh, realization? Nine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Does he need to do that right now? I'm always using it. Oh yeah. Something important's happening. Well, this was the other trail of magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but this is really important. <laughs> if he's making you do it as soon as we start walking down the thing. Okay. So, I'm glad you feel that way. It's always important. No. Everything is. Important. Everything is death. Yeah, pretty much. And dismemberment. But mostly death. Mops? And losing things. Hey, I, I want my blade back, by the way. That's nice. How does it feel to want? Well, you know, as soon as you can go into the Shadow Realm or whatever and uh, find that particular well, I hunter. Could, I could probably okay. send you there. So, you guys uh, start you making your way. Me. Ivan. Hey. You and Jason both notice the dense fog that is filling the passage ahead of you. Okay. Hey, who farted? I mean, it's, it was filling well, the other yeah. one as well. Yeah, yeah, it yeah was but, being but this is off. thicker. Thicker? This is denser fog filling so, the passageway ahead of you. Is this swamp fog? Sea fog or tuli fog? Um, none of the above. Pea soup. Yeah, pea soup is the best way to describe ah, it. Ah, shore fog. No, no, no. Thicker than the standard shore fog. New York shore fog. I mean, well, I'd like to say no. It's more like Washington, D.C. Oh. Memorial fog. Aye, aye. <laughs> okay, we're talking. Uh, now we're yeah, talking. yeah. I mean, this is the, the stuff that people go, wow, I didn't know fog could, like, you could literally cut it with a knife. And you could literally cut this fog with a knife. <laughs> you slash it and you see the gaping hole still there. So oh, shit. in the fog. Hey, Harry, you see that? <laughs> Harry, up the wind. Dude! Um Okay. Um yeah. Okay. The wind picks up a little bit, it makes no dent on the fog at all. With your forty five roll that you rolled. You do hear sounds echoing in the distance through, though muted and muffled by the fog. You hear them as they're bouncing off the walls deep down the tunnel ahead of you. Hey, what do I hear? Um, it, it almost sounds like footsteps, but it's hard to tell because it's, it's, you're hearing muffled shuffling of something down there. It could be something being dragged. It could be footsteps. It, it could be a variety of things. Um, but it's it's definitely movement of some kind, and it's way down the tunnel. Guys, slow down. I'm going for the head. I hear something, and not good. It sounds like lots of footsteps coming out of way. Malato, do you hear no, anything? It sounds like it's moving away. S- they don't even know that. No response. From my scout? Correct. But there's shadows around us. Correct. And he steps off into the fog. Okay. So I'm going to have the uh, markings, like the white marks. Um, you can roll a perception roll, and then oh, um, as far as your your, you still do sense the the magic. evil magic from down that way. The evil presence of magic, if you will. So he he steps back a minute, pulls out a piece of rope, ties around his waist, and hands the other end to uh, whoever's directly behind him. That would be Jason. And then steps off again. I always thought he needed a leash. Hey, I heard that! <laughs> Harry goes, is that like a dope on a... Never mind. <laughs> I, it's like a dope on a rope. I got you. <laughs> yeah, right, you son of a bitch. Hey, 
It's good. Anybody do, uh, have a reel? Any of these do anything sitting on my chest? No. Okay. Not at all. Alright, that's fine. At least. Oh. Pass these down. I know they had some Why sort of stuff in the dragons yeah. are labeled as guides. I'll just leave it here. You said they got pencils too. Okay, so, um, is anyone else going deeper in, or is it just Ivan? Are there any alcoves on the sides? Uh, no. No, no it's, it's, uh... You said to wait. move. And no markings? No markings that you can see now. Damn. You said to wait. I'm content with letting him... Die. Go ahead. How much rope is there? Um, he has... He handed you a hundred foot of rope. Okay. It's not that It's far. not just rope, it's paracord. And I need you to uh, roll two perception rolls as you keep going. Okay. Right. Twenty-five. Thirty-five. Okay. Um, so uh, as you as you're going, you notice that the you notice two important things. Mm -hmm. One, the gradient changes to be fairly steep, like about three or four percent downgrade. Um, and two, the three foot wide liquid is now closer to five foot wide. And there's so a the lot, entire tunnel. There's a lot. No, the tunnel is ten feet wide. So there's less room to walk on either side of it. It's just oil. And you get down to uh, to the end of your rope. Um, and you you still hear the sounds. They're still moving away from you. Um, it's it's really hard to tell what it is. You pull the rope three times, like the same fall. Okay, so you feel the rope yank in your hand three times. Is he dying? No. Is he dead? He's trying to send me a signal, but I'm not sure what it is. Harry's like, oh, oh, that, that means pull me up. Oh, oh so pull him back? <laughs> right, should we pull him back, or...? Hmm. <laughs> he, he, t he pulls a little more tension on it, like trying to pull him forward. Okay, you feel it yank a little bit again, but this time it doesn't let go. Why do I let the dwarf go scouting? What's he doing? I'm here. He wants me to go forward. Are you sure he wants you to go forward? Not someone that's just not trying to kill him? Xenia goes, what if he fell? What if he's dying? If um, he's you're a dick. I have to play the characters that I have. I know. <laughs> I mean, well, how much, uh, how much, uh, how much force is the pull? Um, it's a good, like, three pounds. Three oh, pounds, three to five okay, pounds. Okay, so it's not his full body weight. No. Not even close. So it's him just... Come here. <laughs> Whatever, let's go. Do we have to? No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's like, why don't we wait here for... Okay. <laughs> okay. That's what we move it. So when I feel it go slack, I start... Okay, inching forward. Yep. Okay. Um, I need you to make another perception roll. I keep very little slack in it. Anyone else that wishes to make a reception roll while you're going down the hallway, feel free. Sure. 14. 29. 17. 8. I blame you, by the way. Hey, boy! No, he's blaming me. Hey, you cool. Most likely. Okay. Um, you got a 14, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you're going, um, you do notice that the grade is steeper. Uh, first, you weren't expecting. You took a step. You're like, "Well, wait a minute. Okay, there's the floor." Um, and you do notice that it's wider, so you're able to like move over to the side. Okay. So you're not stepping in the goo, highly flammable, flammable ho horribly smelling liquid that mm -hmm. is Texas tea. You hope. I don't oh. think uh, I don't the bio think waste Texas of tea the uh, of the elemental plane of uh, metal. 
Yeah, I'm sure it's just types of tea. <laughs> hey, when you gonna tell tired. anyone else about it or? Down slope. Hey, when I t retire, I'm gonna sink a world down here. Down slope. Watch the water. It's getting thicker or wider. Probably both. Okay. Um, move to the side. It's it's deeper water. She sort of goes off to the side. <laughs> here he goes. He just keeps walking where he was walking. I'm just because of the subway. So you hear the conversation. Mm -hmm. You notice Harry doesn't move over to the side like everyone else. He just sort of stays where he was. As does Velaco. <laughs> okay. He's on the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Velaco. What did you roll for your percent? Eight. Do I see anything with the 17? Hi. Okay. So as, as you're walking, you you, you don't no, no, nothing nothing jumps out at you. You might say. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So you notice the the water and it's encroaching and or the <clears throat> liquid that you know is not water is encroaching, um, and the slope does get greater. That's about it. Everything else is very smooth material. It's not really stone. Like I said earlier, it's 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 very smooth material. Um, but not reflective. Carved, but not reflective at all. If it, you have a feeling that it might have been reflective at one point in time, but with as much grime as built up in the sewers, it's not. that it's no one. No one has come down here and polished the metal in a while. So, Is the ceiling reflective? Uh, not that you can tell. So the, there, there's no markings. As we yeah, go you see, you see no down. markings as you go farther and farther down um, on the walls at all, like like there were last time. Um, so you guys get going even deeper. What about my 34? Okay, yeah. So, so you notice uh, after another uh, probably good like 15, 20 minutes of walking, mm -hmm. um, before you step off the, the opening, you, you do realize that it's there like a few moments beforehand. You have one of those heart and mouth sort of, wait a minute. <laughs> Now, were you on the right-hand side or the left-hand side of the passage? Left-hand, so I can keep the right-hand free. Okay. So, yeah, so at, at this point, you are completely up against a drop. You know it's a drop because, like, you sort of used your foot. You don't feel anything. You put your sword down. You don't hear it hit anything. Okay. Um, make another perception roll. Dude is really amazing tonight. Yeah. He's on fire. What was the number? Mm -hmm. More than a 20. Yeah. Well, you didn't I rolled three pins and a nine. There we go. Okay. So 39. My dice put me tonight. So after about six minutes, My dice are video first time. you hear a sound. Similar to this. Muted, but similar. Shit. Hey. I'll let them know. How? <clears throat> He's talking to himself. <laughs> okay, so the rest of you guys are marching forward uh -huh. slowly. Um, I do need you to make perception rolls. Uh, um, just one more perception roll as you get going down. Now, are you guys on the right-hand side or the left-hand side of the tunnel? Mm, it doesn't matter to me, but, um... Like I said, one minute, right? Right-hand side. Okay. How wide is the goo now? Um, at this point, it is eight feet wide, yeah. leaving a one-foot margin on either side so of the passage. Eleven. Forty-five? Fifteen. Oh wow, you noticed. Hi. Okay. Um, so while you're walking on the ceiling, you notice uh, after about like 20 minutes of walking, um, you're like, hmm, oh, 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 oh what, what, what's that? You see like little, little metal points sticking up, like about every five feet, 
in the ceiling. They're just sort of sticking up at your feet on the ceiling. You sort of like walk past them and you see another one about another 15 minutes down. And that's when you start going, wait a minute. <laughs> um, yeah. You see them sort of sticking out of the ceiling. Just little metal points. Little metal points are about yay tall and about yay wide at the base going down into the other metal. They don't stick all the way down though. They're just they're yeah. They're just yeah. They're just little points sticking out from the ceiling. So they're just little points sticking down from the ceiling, and just one every fifteen to twenty minutes worth of walking. I see one. Well, no, no. There, there's like uh, five of them in a row across the length of the ceiling, and every fifteen minutes, you come to another row of five. Oh, great! Is it exactly a portcullis? I mean it. Yeah, it could be. It could be attached to that. You don't really see that sticking out. I mean, literally, you just see these down. points. You don't see any seams or anything else for a port close. Mm. But it, it could definitely be something like that, yeah. Mm. Of course, you didn't notice it until you were, like, a good hour or so in to the walk. At this point, you guys have been walking for about two hours. So Go check out the other path, he said. It'll be fun, he said. <laughs> like to try to All I did is jump out a walk in. No one ever said it'd be fun. Construction. Go ahead. And that is a six. Okay. Um, yeah, no, the, the best you can come up with is a port of close that was started but never finished. Uh, you don't really see how it... You don't oh. see any moving parts. You don't see any holes or lines left of where it would come down from, but that's... Or levers or trip Or levers wires. or trip wires or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, not from the ceiling, at least. Not, well, I mean... Yeah. It's only a 10-foot by 10-foot room. Yeah, I know. Or passage. Yeah, and, and you're only, like, 7 feet tall, so your your hair is almost in the water. No, it's not. Let's be honest. <laughs> so how long is Blanco's hair? Not very. Okay, good. This short hair. I just, you know, pictured, like, this... This one foot dangling no. hair coming off the top of his head while he's upside down. Malako's got short, very short. I was thinking for it's better that size. It's mostly like three or four inches long. Maybe. Anyway. So, yeah. So you don't see any trip wires or anything. Obviously, no one else has triggered anything. And walking on the ceiling it, doesn't mean I'm one. walking like this. Yeah, I know. It's usually more this way. What are you in character? What? I said, what are you in character? Uh, this is me talking as a player. Damn. To the DM. Chuck. Yeah. Not breaking character. Okay. Let's see him, the crack monkey. So ra rather than walking along like this. I mean, I can, I can picture the walker doing either way, to be now, honest. I'm not comfortable no matter you know, what, so yeah. it doesn't make a so, difference. So, <clears throat> so yeah, so as you're going along the ceiling, you don't see anything to trip those okay. things That's coming weird. down like a trap wise. But yeah. That's weird. Oh well. Do I hear them coming up behind me yet? Um yeah. So you would I mean I'm assuming you guys aren't like are you flying? Or are you walking, Jason? I'm walking I guess. Okay. So, so you'd hear the time the, I've been really you, up. you would hear the sounds of like metal boots on, on the metal terrain. Um Do I still hear that down there? No. Now, at this point, uh, you do hear an occasional noise from down there, but it's not the, the constant sound that it was before. So, John, did I notice anything? With, uh, like anything new or special or anything? So he, um, he caps the chip and the roll? 47. How tall is your character? Uh, 511. Okay. Um, no. No, um, there's no, there's no particular things. That you're not. I mean, the the fog is really thick, even around Harry, and even though he's moving it, it's not making much difference. So it's it's thinner where you guys are seeing each other, mm -hmm. but it's thicker because he's displacing the fog, so it's making it even thicker around the outsides. So, John, lightly against the wall, so you know where I'm at. Higher low. High. So you, you, you lightly tap your fist. Now, you lightly tap your fist against the wall. And this is the noise it makes. Can you hear that over there? 
<laughs> okay. Hi, Ron. Hi. Yeah. You hit it as hard <coughs> as you can. That's how much noise you hear. <coughs> Just be louder than her. <coughs> You're like, and and you normally be, there'd be a boom, and there's like. It's almost like there's a cushion between me and the wall. Almost. I mean, you feel the wall. I mean, yeah. you, you almost. I mean, if you hit it hard enough, you will hurt yourself. Yeah. But yeah, there's like there's no noise coming off of it at all. It's almost like the fog around you is is completely canceling it. So he starts walking back towards him, rolling it up, okay. making sure there's tension on it so he knows that... So uh, you guys meet. Um, you, you're walking down. Are you rolling it up or are you just sort of leaving it behind you as you're walking? Or? Hmm. That's the thing. It has been... Right behind. I've been rolling it up the entire time. While we've been walking... Okay, so you've been holding it basically mm -hmm. and just letting him... Okay. Um, yeah, so you guys, um, after another 15 minutes, you see him come walking towards you, and he's rolling up the uh, paracord. It took him 15 so, minutes to walk 100 feet? Yeah. So a little ways that way, it's, it's there's uphill, a huge... And he's short, and he's making sure he's not going to fall. So this one is even what? steeper. But we're also walking towards angle. him. Yes, yes. Again, it's a, it, the, the angle steepens as you go farther down. Dwarf, going uphill. It's kind of slow going. On a metal surface. It would be I don't have this people. problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet. Why can't you just take <laughs> things at face value? <laughs> I mean, so, really, are you going to save, like, time by, by shaving the, the time that he walks towards us? Yeah. No, it's all the same time. Actually, it's more because... Hey, Princess, so shut your hole! You guys get to where you meet yeah. him at. There's only two feet left on uh -huh. your side of the water uh -huh. that isn't in the liquid. And he's on the opposite side when okay. you see him. Oh, hey. So, uh, back that way, a little ways, there's a huge, huge drop-off. I threw a quarter off, it took six minutes to hit the bottom. Did you tell me with a watch? Okay. He goes like this. Way. So you can see the, the watch face <laughs> from the fog that he was standing in. Oh. Ooh, he's bundling me again. Hey! Looks like, looks like I will just go scout uh, the drop. You feel the energy below you somewhere. It's getting stronger, but it's, it's below you. <clears throat> So, you can stick to walls, you can climb down. Do you fly? No. I fall. Harry goes, I fly like a rock. I, uh, I, uh, gravity affects me. Uh. I'm really good if I'm propelled. Flying like a rock. As long as I'm not dropped again. So, Pharos. Yeah, like a rock. So, Pharos. Yes. How much uh, how much weight can you can you carry while flying? Right now, none. You know, I could just uh, if I if I slip and let the flame expose to the gases, we're all dead. Okay. I, I could just hop on Velaco. Or is you're Jimmy solid Carl right now. Expanding boy with us? No, he did not come into the sewers. You're solid right now. It? Yes. What if but we like? It's only a thin membrane. Oh. Hey, that's what she said. Can you make it thicker? Then I can't fly. That's what you said. <laughs> All right. Great. Uh, hey, Spider Boy, can you make a rope for us to climb down? Nope. No, it doesn't pee that way. Damn. <laughs> I mean, we could just climb on <clears throat> him, and then he can climb down. That'd be very slow going. And then we might get stuck, though. How no, feels... much weight can I carry while flying? What is your strength? Five. Um, you could carry an additional 250 pounds to account for your pilot. So one dude. Skill. Yeah. Hey, carry me. Hey, 
Hey, Xenia. Yeah. Can you fly? Um. No. Not really. I've never tried, but I. Wait a minute. Did we have like a pouch with a whole bunch of magical things, and one of the things was something that could fly? Are you asking Harry because he's the one who has all of the magical items? I'm asking everybody. Harry's like, I, I don't know. Sifa just bought a bunch of stuff and put it in this pouch. Uh, we have... In this backpack and the portable holes that I'm holding. Got a mansion! No, mansions can't fly. Uh, right. No, we don't have anything of flying. Great. We have, uh... Yeah, Harry's like, I, I don't, I don't how remember many, seeing a thing of flying in there. How many potions has he used? There. Because you haven't been telling me what things to mark off. Yeah, let me see the list. Oh, here it comes. You have no potions left. Oh. Oh, Alright, so can you like pull me I'm over here? I'm pretty sure it's... Or play over here and then pull me back. Three of the smaller ones, but it might be two of the smaller really? ones and one of the... Well, I didn't play any of on this side. No, he's used uh, four of the smaller ones only. John? I brace myself against the ceiling, reach over, pick up Ivan, and put him on the right side. Okay. And then you can use it back onto the edge, feeling for any kind of stairs or anything like that. Okay, high or low? High. Okay, roll another perception roll when you get to where the edge should be. Me? No. 18. 28. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, so you get over there, and at first you, you're like, okay, this is an edge too, and you lean forward a little bit farther and you feel your sword hit something and so when you drop yourself down there it's a it's a three foot down mm -hmm. and then it extends forward three feet and then it's another three feet down stairs hop, hop, hop. but not normal rise and run for stairs but yes so he dropped down. So hey, we, we got giant stairs. <laughs> Not if you're here. five foot tall. That's like a third of your height. Oh, giant. <laughs> uh, a little it over comes a third. Up to me, <laughs> okay. So he starts unreeling and hops down. And then hops down. Okay. Um, I need you to make one more perception roll. Just oh, real quick shit. for us. Because there's a missing stair. It's a trap. There's three steps, and then there's no steps. <laughs> For anyone. Okay. So, so as you get down, it was after the fifth one that you, you drop down to the three feet, and you're, uh, uh, there's not another. Oh, come <laughs> on! <laughs> make a, stre make a strength roll real quick to uh, make sure you can hold on to the rope. Thank God for paracord. Sort of expecting differences. I'm assuming you are staying where you were, so we've got yeah. the tensile strength to deal with at this point. So we have 19. Okay, yeah, you're able to, it's like as soon as you feel that, you wrap it around your elbow and up back up to, to brace so you don't fall. You do feel the, the cord stretching a little bit more than it should. Because, you know, it's, it's great for using multiple of them to make a parachute line with, but a single one holding one person, your character's weight, Bit of a strain. Uh, how much of it does it go? Hmm? How far do I fall? Um, you're you're not falling at this point. You're able to stabilize yourself, but you're more than five feet down where they where you were expecting to stop at three. And you hear in Gaelic a whole bunch of. <clears throat> so so you, you hear a lot of weird noises coming from deeper in the fog. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we need to get another priest to eat a leprechaun. <laughs> Aye! That's what priests do, right? Like, so, let's see. It's well, it's it's like, like, I, hey, Velaco. Huh? So. No? Can you hold on to this rope and don't let go? Please. Like, you want me to actually grab it? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll fly following the rope okay. and see what happens. See yeah. where the rope goes. Okay. Um, so as you're following it, the fog is really thick. So it's it's without having your hand on the rope, right? You you're afraid that you're going to lose sight of it. 
That's fine. Um, I'll have you, do, my... you do trace it down in there. Uh-huh. Um, and you Where's do eventually find him hanging there. He's like braced against the uh, against the, the, wall. the wall. And he's holding onto it. And you see the rope above him. Uh-huh. Like five feet above him. Start fraying. As, as the metal ledge is slicing through I, it almost like I, a knife. I lift him. <laughs> so he flies down and goes, what do you say? You just going to grab him or is there an exchange? Uh, hey, like fold your arms over your chest. I'm going to like carry you up. Go! <laughs> there. <laughs> and you, you, you lift him up. You notice the, the damage to the line as you're as he comes flying up. Um, and uh, where do you put him? Uh, on the, the last stair. Okay. All right. So. You feel the line go slack. Abruptly. I was like. like no. <laughs> what a dick! <laughs> it went slack. It, it drops your. Into the liquid. So we just see. I just yeah, you see the you see Vlaka just like go and just the paracord lands in the liquid by your feet. Did they die? Go back up the landing. I'm gonna see if <laughs> like the stairs like just uh -huh. skip or slack. if there's like no more stairs. Hmm. Okay. He takes his sword, capping around the edge. What so, do you mean? Around the the final edge. Trying to find another stair going down. Okay, so tapping no, 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 on no. the edge, or... I mean, you know it's at least five feet yeah. down. So so you're probably not going to feel anything John? within your Does range. Does he still have his walking staff from no. the desert? No. Uh, so I'm going to, like, circle around and try and feel for stairs. Okay, or roll anything. a perception roll. Also, doesn't his... That's a 15. Fire? A little, yeah. Um, yeah, so between flying down and, and lowering yourself, you're dispersing and pushing the fog away. Mm -hmm. um, you do go down about 50 feet or so mm -hmm. before you see a ledge, but the ledge is not the same three feet that the others have been. Uh, it's more like two inches. <laughs> two inch ledge. You can't and decide it, if they're small people or and, big people. And the, the ledge actually goes out farther away from so the other were like five feet by three feet and this uh -huh. is, it, the ledge just keeps going around the wall so and then it drops off further down from the ledge <sighs> okay so basically we're flying down all right so i'll fly back up he's sitting on the edge of the stair for the, the ledge okay so, do you, you're dangling your feet off that? Mm -hmm. Make a perception roll for me real quick. Suck. Fifteen. Okay. Um, so, you know, you, you kick your feet off, you got your knees dangling, your feet dangling, your knees are right down there. As you, like, rock them back the first time, you feel a, a little bit of pain in the back of your legs. And you, you put your finger down there and you realize that that... When I said that it was like fraying the rope, it's a knife edge on that ledge. A really sharp one, as you're feeling it cut into the back of your trousers. Stands up. <laughs> this is like scoot back, stands up. <laughs> Leans over the edge, looking underneath. Yeah, it looks like they designed it. Whoever designed this or built this designed it as a way to cut ropes for people trying to climb. It's literally designed with a slight it, it sticks out more than an angle like this, so it'll, it'll wear away the ropes without being too noticeable. Yeah. You come flying back up. You mm. see him like leaning over the he edge. Actually, he actually reaches underneath the. See yeah, how far back it goes. It, it's it's about uh, only it's only like two inches, just enough to start wearing a rope, not to slice through it immediately. All right. So, no. Uh, <laughs> No more stairs. There was a trap. I, I noticed. Did you this see him like he, peering over the edge? Th this is designed to cut ropes slowly, free them out, and just pop. There you go. Oh, well, there's no more stairs. 
So I, I we're flying down. <laughs> One way or another. Do we actually have to go down here? I'd recommend it. I mean, I sent some, uh, it's pretty good down there. Good. Okay, so... so good, 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 good. Good mm. stuff. So... Uh, top quality you know stuff. What? Um, I'm just going to sit here and wait. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll fly up to the rest of them and... Hey, guys! Smell? Like, what um, does you smell? The yeah. same stuff that you've been smelling before. It's just not as pungent or as sweet as it was in that one room, but it is horrible and bad. So, guys, um, right so like, oh. like uh, the stairways were a trap. Uh, goes five stairways down and then... Um, Plummets to your death. So, Sounds great. So we'll have I'm to... I'm not getting thrown down again. We'll have to either Please fly say. down, <laughs> crawl down, or... Or... I don't know. Jump. If, if somebody has a teleport. Doesn't Pharos? Pharos well, does not teleport. Well, he has a door. Tele Pharos, like... It's, it's yeah, but it has to be... Has no it has to be, going. like... I think it has to be, like... Like within line of sight. Yeah, Ferris is like it's. It doesn't always work either. You know, just occasionally. It stops. Yeah, I remember one time we went diagonal, like three feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, John, do I still smell the fumes of oil? Yeah, you do still feel the. In fact, there it's a more pungent and poignant. Than it's a uh, old train smell or. Uh, Next shop smells. It's really hard to tell because there's enough uh, biological material in it that it's like a mix between a sewage center and a uh, train bone yard. <laughs> Y'all right, hate so me. <laughs> okay. We're only going to hate you if you decide to light up and kill us all. Sulfur tip. So, his last one. And no, oh wait, on this. Okay. This mask and stuck it behind his ear. So, um, Blanco, how many people can you carry? How much do you weigh? Who are you asking? You, Xenia. Carrie's uh, like, I'm light. I'm like, dude, I'm light. I'm so light. You won't even notice that I'm on your shoulders. I weigh 158. Dude, I'm lighter than that. Nice. We should like slink away. I try, but he won't let me go past him. Same, right? And Ivan too. Um. Well, let's see if I can find the fucking page I just had open. There we go. Uh, yeah. So, can you carry four people? I mean, depends on how big I get. Okay, can you get big enough to carry four people? Depends on how much they weigh. Because I can carry 500 pounds, like this. Right. Or... So Xenia's like, okay, 500 pounds, so that's uh, us three. She points at Harry, her, and... Johar. Johar. So that's us three, give or take with a couple hundred pounds left over. Because, like, I'm a hundred. Even. With my equipment. John, like, um... <laughs> um, um she I've weighs been... 70 pounds soaking wet? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you, you wouldn't look it. I mean, looking at her, you're like, no way. But, yeah, evidently, that's what she's Ivan saying. Ivan is, what, about 150 pounds? I don't know what like, in your hey, how how heavy is Ivan? Two hundred and sixty-nine. Oh, okay, that's enough. Yeah, you should be able to get all of us. I think. I mean, three, four. Yeah. I'll I'll fly down. Carry the seven. Yeah, you should be fine. Everybody, grab a leg. Well, he's he's down like at the bottom step, so. I can give him a little scare. No, he grab might he pull. might fall. <laughs> I don't want to try and catch him down there. He'd be funny. Harry, I, I can just grab do my little, left leg. A little earthquake. Okay. Hang on tight. You're not that big. Joe Hart, you're going to grab my right leg. Why don't I just grab your, why don't I just grab your, your, my physical your back? Leg. No, my physical I'll leg. Just, I'll just, I'll just, you're going to grab my physical leg and like, you're going to move him to <laughs> my physical leg. I'm not that small! 
That's he's not what I'm on the ceiling still. Yeah, he's like, what's your, but your leg is only like maybe three feet long, and I'm like five feet tall. Buckle up, buddy. Logistics! Buckle Let me up. grab your waist, you moron! <laughs> he wants his spoon. Buckle up, buttercup. If you drop, you're dead. I'm just saying. I'll kill you. I'll There's find a, a way to kill my, you. There's a 10 on my roll for showing <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's like, uh, he, he does what you tell him to, but he's like, I'll kill you if you drop me. So how long has this soap been, the rope been sitting in the uh, goo? Long enough. You don't know. You don't know what's in the goo. As far as you know, someone's still holding it up there. You haven't pulled it to you yet. So. <laughs> and then, uh, Xenia, you, uh... I'll just climb up and she puts her arms around the back of your neck and puts her head on your shoulder. I'll just lay right here. It's okay. I'm sure she gets to go up there, but I can leg. <laughs> I see how it is. You're also stuck to it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't okay. mean I have to like it. I'll, uh, You're so sweet. <laughs> I will eat you someday. Okay, I'll meet you down there. Promises. And then I'll, oh. go and, I'll go and pick up Ivan. <laughs> okay. And as I'm going to okay. go and pick up Ivan, I'm going to go ahead and smack him with one of my other legs. <laughs> okay. What but is, make it stick to him. What is your agility? My agility is an eight. John, I was going to say, agility? I was going to say, like, um, Malako's coming to pick you up. But... Okay, so you fly by and tell him? Yeah, I can't hear you. Okay, what is your agility? I lost it. Shit. Seven. Okay. Uh, eight or better. You hear him as he flies past. Blanco's gonna come and get you. That's ten. What? Okay, and right as you're like, what? You feel something hit you. Where are you hitting him? On the back? Yeah. Okay, you feel something hit you across your back? Your whole back? And you get whipped up and off of the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> As you're pulling up the rope. Um, high or low? High. Okay. That's all I needed. Thank you. Okay. You're crawling down. And you, you start crawling down. So you get down that distance and you feel that ledge. As you're, you're going down, you see that ledge, the little two inch, and you see it shoot down along the uh, along the wall that way and it sort of goes out of sight. And same as the in the other direction. Where are we going, Nagat? Actually, Xenia, you and Johar are going to need to change places because uh, he can see where we're going. Okay, she slides herself along your shoulder under your arm and then grabs a hold of your front, leaving her arms still around your neck. A little stuck, can you help me out? Yeah, this is really uncomfortable. <laughs> You're the one that wanted to say the same size. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you need to let go. She's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'll never let go. <laughs> and she's like, stuck to your front now. <laughs> Mine to remove her? What's your jewelry? My Goodbye, Jack. is an eight, but yeah. she stuck to me. Yeah, so 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 you, you go to grab her, and she's like, she sort of slides out of the way of your arm. No, that's all right. I can stay right here. That's fine. I just don't adhere to her. Okay. Yeah, she's she just tightens. And we her, start going she straight down. Tightens her grip, and she's you're actually very impressed with the strength that she can manage. Somehow, without using her legs to wrap around you, she's holding her body parallel to yours, using only her arms around your neck. To oh, hold on. Gymnast strength. <laughs> Considering the fact that she was climbing straight down head first, I'm impressed. Because so, that doesn't make any physical sense. So, John. Is it? Yeah. Nah. yeah not, neither does her, her level of gymnastics. It makes no physical sense. I'll, well, I guess I'll hover down with these guys. Okay. But so, where are we going? Down. Good job. Down, down. Oh, yeah. Oh. Roll a realization. Missed the entire. Wow. Uh, you know. Okay. It's okay, I'll take that roll over whatever it was going to be before he... <laughs> okay. Um, so, as you're going down past the ledge, you feel the, the sense. It's below you, but you're upside down. So it's below you, but up behind you that way. So we passed it? No, it's below you. So it's you're going, going down. down. It's still that way, but it's more that way now as you're going down the wall. So it's, it's moving towards the wall. As you're going down that. Alright, away from the wall because he's face 
your face forward towards the wall. Yeah, he right? and, he and yeah. I so so it's it's moving a, away from it. Okay. The wall, the farther you go down. Well, we'll circle around. So just keep just keep going. Cistern, right? Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll circle or you're assuming Falling kind of the cistern. ledge. I mean, like okay, so so did you go down past the ledge already, or I when mean, you asked him, did you ask him before you passed yeah, the ledge? Yeah, before we passed the ledge, because okay. I'm seeing that it's curving in weird directions. Okay, or whatever. We'll just keep going. Just keep going down. Okay. Going. Hey, that's what she said. Okay, so you guys, uh, so you, you cut over and start spiraling down. Is that the idea then, or which? Are you just going to go straight down past the ledge? You're going to go over. You're going to spiral down. What? What is? Is there a, a means of checking for traps um, of some kind? Do you have any sort of thieving skills? I that have, would have like, mechanical some sort construction. Of trap detection. I have investigation. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys, if you're if you're going to be creeping along at a slow speed, you should definitely be looking for that sort of thing. If you're going to be moving at the standard Velaco, who cares about checking for problems? Then um, no. We got a long way to go. I just want to check out about this this ledge portion. Okay. So, with our little torch above us, what do I see on the rope? So as you as you yeah, get it pulled in, you notice that the last uh, three feet of it is soaking, and it's witching into the rest of it. It's like right at that three foot mark. It's starting to get damp there, and you just see that it's completely doused for the remainder of the three feet. Pulls out a jar. Okay. His last empty bottle. Mm-hmm. And starts feeding that in there. Okay. Cannonball it's, it's, bottle. It's difficult to do. Mm -hmm. While you're also while you're on a block. Well, since I'm not using my hands. True. You're adhered to him. <laughs> Still wise to uh. He told you to hold on tight. Oh no, he didn't tell you. No, no. he didn't tell you at all. He told, right. he told. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and I'm you're fine. feeding in what I can, fine and it's an extra large okay. bottle. And uh, we are, as you guys are going down, and while you guys are rolling, oh, by what the did way, you roll? Uh, uh, I got a 15, he got a 20. Okay, perfect. Oh, and by the way, we uh, found a diversion down a cistern. Apparently, this is where we're supposed to go. I don't know, it was some sort of a trap. We're walking into it. You're saying that into the darkness, the shadows around the, us. Yeah, well, thanks the, to the, our the, torch. The, yeah. The, the vague shadows in the fog. Yeah. yeah. So, do, do we notice this? anything? Um, you hear the muted. You hear him talking muted. I mean, are you staying with them? Or are you flying yeah. past them? I'm staying with them. Okay. Um, so at this point, we're actually going to take a, a brief pause for a break. Um, but don't go anywhere for the viewers at home. We're going to do a little uh, side thing with Alex while the others step outside for a few moments. Hey, of course we are. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go and skew the level. Are we muted? No. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Quiet on set. Go ahead and... You guys can go ahead and... Exalt? Yeah. Exit stage.
Thank you for your patience. Uh, we do have Alex here. He came in while we were actually doing that last little bit. Um, but unfortunately, his character was sent away by Velaco to do some forward scouting into the darkness and the shadows, as well as the fog that has no shadows. So we need to pick up with what he was doing between the end of the last session and the beginning of this session. Alex, welcome. Hello. Okay, so... You, I know you weren't here. Hopefully you watched the stream last I week. I did watch bits and parts of it. I did make okay. an attempt after last week's thing. I apologize for missing it. So Just, It's all right. Yeah. You know, life happens. Um, but so that being said, uh, they searched the caverns. You were sort of keeping an eye on them. Mm -hmm. um, you were providing the help Velaco needed, not necessarily wanted, um, which is, uh, you know, the good discernment. Because that was your specific, give him what he needs, you know, the help he needs. Not necessarily I'm a, wants. Yeah. I'm a caring step parent. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Not really. No. Okay. M more like the absentee person was like, okay, fine. I got to be here. Okay. Fine, but I don't fair. have to do what you say. <laughs> I just have to make sure I don't <laughs> die. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're still breathing by the end of the day, it's fine. Missing limbs, teeth. Yeah, you know, yeah. Those, those are forgivable. Yeah. Those are replaceable. So he he did send you scouting ahead into the other tunnel. Um, at first, you believed. What Jason believed was that you were going to scout and they were going to take off and then you were going to catch up with them with what you found. Right. Um, and as they were leaving, Velaco was like, no, 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 no. That's not what we're doing. We're going to follow him. We just want him to go first. So that's, uh, and you heard that in the shadows, at which point you're like, fine. Rat right bastard. So, we're going to start with you going down into the, the darkness. Now, how are you going to go through the fog? Are you going to just look, glance through shadows from the other, from a shadow dimension? Or are you going to go into it as a shadow or into it solid? Mm, I don't think I'll go to it as solid or as a shadow. I want to take a glance first before I make any rash decisions. Seems kind of smart. Okay. Um, so, I need you to roll a perception roll real quick. Got it. That is a... Is that a zero? It's, those dice are hard to tell here. Tell you what, why don't I just float you some dice from over here? That is a 15. Okay. So the first thing you notice is it's, uh, there isn't a lot of shadows in that foggy area. Um, as, as you're looking, the, the fog is evenly lit with just enough light to drive the fog or the shadows out of it but not dark, not bright enough to allow people good visibility in it. So whoever is summoned it or has put it there is doing their best to make it so people can't see through it at all. Clever son of a bitch. Ah. All right. Try a different approach. I'll go as a shadow. Okay. So you move along the, the walls mm -hmm. and floor and surface of the liquids as you're as you're moving through mm -hmm. and uh make a perception roll got it that is an eight okay so unhampered by things like gravity and and friction to slow you down and slopes you actually make your way fairly quickly you see where the the slope drops to a sharp grade you go down that and then it goes to a straight drop and you slide down that surface no problem as you get to the bottom and it's a uh, a huge pool of the liquid and there's a small door on the other side now you can get through it easily no problem but when i say a small door it's like three feet tall and maybe a foot and a half wide okay um and you can go underneath that that crack underneath the door no problem there's a lot of shadows under there if you wanted to look ahead or, or what that would be first. the ideal yeah I okay look ahead and just you know in case i shadow into something and then it somehow sets me on fire through that shadow That'd be pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead and roll that perception real quick for me. That is a nine. Okay, yeah. Um, you don't see anything untoward as you move towards it. All right, cool. I move towards <clears throat> I move towards it. Okay. So you, you slip underneath that door. Um, and as you do, you hear off down the hallway talking you hear voices 
And one of them is an older sounding gentleman. And he's like, hopefully they, they've taken the trap and they follow us. Hopefully they can't quite make it through. It'll buy us some time. We'll need four days to get to the next shard. So, you two stay here in case they come through. Plan a trap. I'm sure you can at least kill half of them. Mm. And you hear sound of like things dragging along the floor and one of them goes, <laughs> of course I can. I plan on it. In fact, we're being watched right now. You might want to leave Tor Drake. Very well. I will. Have a great night, you guys, and please kill them all. And then that room that they're talking from is flooded with bright lights. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck just, that shit. Just uh-huh. really quick. Okay. And we're going to stop. And uh, go to a regular break. We'll see you guys after the regular break.
Welcome back. Uh, thank you for uh, indulging us while we uh, were able to recharge some more batteries and do the things that we have to do. And get some more apple juice. Right, and, and re refill our apple juice, or for those of us that are drinking grape juice tonight, grape juice. So uh, yeah, it, it, it's grape juice. Yes, yes. There's grapes in a juice, in a mug. Grape juice. Grape in a mug juice. Diamond in the rough. It's a, a tinker. Vintage. Such a good vid. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, maybe a little aged grapes, but they're still grapes. Okay, so when last we left off, you guys were making your way around the edge and dropping down, spiraling down the wall. Uh, mostly, mostly straight down. Okay, so you weren't uh, going to follow that ledge over. Well, we were going to try to inspect the ledge. Circle Lynch around and then, tracks. like, go down. Okay. There. And you guys had just rolled before you started going down. Right. Yeah. I had a 15 and he had a 20. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you did not notice any traps on the ledge itself. Or oh, right. about the ledge. Or about the ledge. As you were moving down around, and it, it did spiral, the wall is sloped. Um, the ledge is not going straight as, it, as you first thought. Um, it is also corkscrewing down the passage. Um... After about a 30 feet following it, um, the ledge ends abruptly, and there's a wall that it actually butts up against the wall at 90 degrees. And then there's another ledge about 10 feet down from that one that goes across that wall at a slope. And down on that one, you notice that there were some uh, interesting spots on that ledge. So assuming someone's putting their full weight as they're going down, they'd have to drop down to their, the 10 feet if they were climbing it. And another five feet over, some of those, that ledge looks like it can be pulled on a little bit. So it looks like it's got a little bit of segmentation to where some of those could, could give. How much of that rope have I been able to feed in now? Well, you were able to feed in um, pretty much all three feet of that. Um, I'm assuming that he was moving slow enough while they were investigating it that you were able to, to put that so, three feet in. He corks it, puts the hole in the cork, and pulls out the last remaining bit. Okay. So now he has a bomb. Ish. It's an empty jug with a liquid... Liquid-soaked rope. Soaked rope, but there's nothing else in the jug, so... <clears throat> there's air in the jug. There, there is air in the jug, but, you know, a bomb, eh, you know, whatever. We're, we're not sure going to get into into bomb making on this stream. Ah, uh, come on! For many reasons. Are we sure it's air, not just like fumes in yeah. surrounding you? Yeah. So we're not going to get into bomb making, but yes, you have something that you've put together abruptly. A 
half-assed Molotov. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you guys do at this point? Are you guys gonna trip any of those segmented areas? You should totally trip one. I mean, I can just climb over them. Yeah, but I want to know what happens. I I can do it. Just use him as a human shield. Hey! 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 Sorry. No. Sorry. Dwarf shield. Dwarf shield. Thank you. I'll go ahead and uh, line up Ivan with one of them. All right, press and it. And then I will uh, release my enemies. Oh, okay. <laughs> what <laughs> the hell are you doing? Okay, so you guys hear that from the shadows on the wall next to you. Hey, it actually looks like your shadow. You hey. hear it from your shadow. <coughs> Who's talking? Uh, well, I told you we were walking into a trap and we're just going to apparently test them. No! <laughs> Why on your mother's earth would you do this? Look, we messed around with some magical chains. Of course we're going to mess around with this. Oh. I mean, I was content to... I guess I agree. I'm assuming you're, like, flying behind Blocko? Yeah. Yeah. And you hear all Jason remembers the chains. Yeah. I miss those things. <laughs> well, he tucks it back in his bag. He just hangs there. I mean, yeah, you are you like... are face-to-face -face with this two-inch ledge. Yeah, he, he, he like moved you to where you're like right in front of the two-inch ledge. Ready to grab it. Oh, why are we playing around? So, so, got... so you grab it and yank on the, uh -huh. on the sec? Okay. Yes! We're gonna die. Higher low. Low. Okay. You go, You guys hear the the sound of metal scraping metal as he grabs a hold of this ledge and pulls towards him. And you hear it and it go and the whole ledge part slides forward slowly. And then all the resistance is gone. And he lets go. Pulls free in your hands and you let go and it falls down. You hear a splash. Hey, did it? He was a good. Quite a ways below you. Oh, that was lame. You know, yeah. are you done? Let's keep on going. But this was, they think whoever this was, was a, following them. This was the first died. segmented part. There's multiple segments, as you can see, going down. So this is boring. Yeah, you have the hole? No, it's pitch black. No light source at all inside the hole. Pharos isn't flying close enough to allow you to see into it. And how thick is the fog? Um, at this point, right against the wall, uh, while you're near, uh, it's, it's not really that thick. Because, you know, you've got Harry close by. Sort of moving it around to the other side, away from you. I can't even feel it. Let's keep on going. Down, 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 down. Okay. So... Jason starts lowering Bunny, himself down. What are you guys either. doing? Just keep going. going in the direction of wherever we're going. Okay. Looking for more segments. <clears throat> well, yeah, the, the segments continue on in a downward slope. If you want, you can, like... Oh, I should probably let you know, this isn't a very comfortable ride for you since you're on one of my spider legs, which are what I'm using to climb this. Good, good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like riding in your OMV. No. No. By your back. <laughs> Here's a demonstration. Ooh, I love this cap is you. And the leg is doing this. <laughs> 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 Where this is like 10 feet. <laughs> Man, that's some motion sickness right there. Right? It's, it's not comfortable at all. It's a little disoriented. Oh. I, I, I had just had oh. an aneurysm. I don't know if I can get aneurysms, but I just had one. What was your status report? That was what I was alluding to until that. Hey, who the fuck the hell are you? Oh, right, we actually... Where the fuck are you? Hey, you quiet down. So come on! I want to know who the fuck is talking to me! Do you want to drop? I've been dropped up here. <coughs> Let me hit, but so what? Do it. Do it. Okay. So, status report. I'm gonna try to narrow that so he can only hear me. <laughs> okay. So I don't so, have fucking angry dwarf yelling at me. Okay. So, uh, everyone gets a roll perception roll. To see if they notice. Yeah, including you. I mean, you might not notice. You could roll really low. 28. You see it. You don't see it. 8 doesn't see it. How low are we talking? 37. Or a 7. Or 
Yeah, you don't notice it either. I was still rolling, 37. <laughs> okay. Um, so you two notice uh, the shadows on the wall seem to shift a little and move, almost like uh, the firelight is causing them to dance. Um, you successfully move up to near his head. I gave him the status report. Which is... What, you think I'm going to remember every... I, uh, what was that movie yes. I saw? They're really prepared. They have stuff that's against me. And that shit's scary. Even as a shadow, they can still do shit to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? So can I hear this or no? No. Mm -hmm. No, he's literally... So, effectively, the Shadow Walker is whispering in Velako's ear from the wall. So I saw the shadow movement. You saw movement amongst the shadows, just briefly. It was like flickering really fast, and then it was done. And that's what Do you saw. Do they know how many of us there are? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They knew I was watching them. John, reaches in, pulls out a penny at one of the shadows. How many are they? From what the I saw, there were only off. four. And, and hits the wall and clatters off. Aiming all one of them. them. The entire line of his body. They knew I was there. Higher low. I'm not sure how they were able to detect yeah, it, but they All didn't. of them hit the wall and clamor off, except one of them hits the wall and sticks to Vlaco's shoulder. If I didn't get out of there, I would have been dead. Ooh, penny. It looks like it would, like everything else. It, it, it's not that the shadow did anything differently. It's like literally a hit, and then he just sort of perched on We need shoulder. to proceed Can carefully. that coin? What kind of preparations do they have? You if, said they're prepared for us, but what do they have prepared? Uh, there's some more traps up ahead. How far down does it... Anything you can, I don't know, expound on? Let me put it this way. If they have traps that are able to kill me as a shadow, they have traps that can kill you easier. And they're expecting to kill at least half of you from the get-go. Are there ways we can remotely activate these traps so that we don't get hit by them? We'll have them, to just pay close enough I attention. Pass them? We might just need to have to pay close enough attention. Maybe I can disarm them as um, as I am, but until we see them. Just word of caution. Okay. So while they're talking, Steve, are these things on? Ironwell. Sorry, not Steve. Lash. Ironwell. Hi. No response. Well, Jason hears it. Would I hear it too? Uh, no. Huh. Yes. What did you need? Apparently, there's <clears throat> four of them, and they're really prepared for us even to take you out. You just got the camera. Yeah. Is one of them Tordrake? Is one of them uh? Short, bald man. You didn't see them, you heard them. Yeah. I didn't see them, I heard them. I'm a shadow man. You shadow man? Probably. Okay. Well, hey. We drove them off once, we can drive them off again. Like, um... Oh, and apparently they're expecting to kill about half of us from the get-go. Before any real fighting starts. There's traps and shit. Oh, nice. Well, hey. Um. So. We could do... Also, I, I do guess a halo this, drop. Also, I guess this sounds as, as good of a time as any. Um, <laughs> I was like, when do we open the chutes? When we see the ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, th this might also be as good a time as any to, to let you know. Um, I, I already know you're gay. What? <laughs> No. Oh, thank God. I thought it was just me. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so are you finally coming out of the closet? Or the spider, in this case. No, when we were walking down the uh, service <laughs> sewer area, whatever you want to call it, there was a row of about five spikes in the ceiling. I didn't see any way to make it look like it's some sort of portcullis, but it looked like a portcullis. That five spikes up. in the ceiling? Yeah, in a line. But no seams. They're probably just lowering bars. Right, but no, no seams. Crossbars. Huh? But no seams. In the metal. So it was just the roof and then a couple, a row of spikes and then more of the roof. Oh, hmm. you know, like, I've seen, I've seen, like, machine, like, tolerances that are pretty insane. So, uh, you know, the lack of seams, like, doesn't mean anything. Alright, well, as long as you're, you don't care about it. So, what would be the most destructive thing we could do right now? Uh, probably kill us all. It's taking much. Like, <laughs> so, setting this entire area into one big ball of fire. Good thing most of us don't need to breathe. <clears throat> yeah. I'd recommend against the ball of fire bit. Just, just saying. <laughs> what, you don't need to breathe, do you? No. Did you not hear me when I said they had things against shadows? The whole room went up like a fucking firework. Uh... <laughs> so, John. But if like... you stay under me, there'll still be a shadow. Hold on, Quincy. How long did it take the coins to hit the bottom? Uh, six <laughs> minutes. At this point, probably closer to four minutes. All right. So, so John, how uh, how much flame retardant would it take to, to coat us all, like uh, without smothering us? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> More than you have. Well, you know, it's not what you think it is. <laughs> yes, um, but the problem is, is the that there's a variety of different gases in the air around you that you uh -huh. guys have already determined are highly combustible. Uh -huh. um, and highly poisonous to begin with. And highly poisonous to breathe. Great. Oh, I'll check my sensors. Look at How's the, the air here? It's not that good. There's there's very little air. <laughs> it's a red flag. <laughs> I remember that was an old one. Instead of burning the needle, there is no needle. It snapped off. So who's <laughs> actually breathing like the, the open air? Uh, that would be Xenia that you know of at this point. Just Xenia? And possibly Harry, because Harry claimed he, you know, breathes there too. And Ivan. And Ivan. Ivan's got a gas mask. Yeah. Well, then he's breathing air, but not. I mean, it's, he's got a filter, but. He's doing the best he can. Filters only last. <laughs> Filters still don't create oxygen. <clears throat> yeah, they, they don't create oxygen, which is, you know, one of the biggest problems at this point. After every three hours, he drops another canister. So, he's getting you for another one. So, um, <sighs> um, do I have enough spare parts to like uh, jury rig like a breather uh, for Xenia? If anything, I can make a shadow of that breather too. Um, oh, hey. Do you say you that can... out loud? I mean, the only one that can hear me is yeah. that one. Right. So, um, you don't really have any spare parts with you. At All this right. point. So. But also, you need to be able to see him. And he's not with us directly. So. Yeah, unfortunately, he's out in the middle of that fog that you really can't. So, Pharaoh. Um, Sorry. Yeah. What? Can you make some oxygen? Like, um, I've got my own supply, but uh, I don't think Xenia or Harry has a supply. It's getting pretty low here. I mean, I can. I can. Do what I can. Do you know what the air around us is made out of, or the? Sure. I mean, is, I, is anything seventy percent pure? No. Uh, that doesn't no, matter. No, no, no. Uh, how does? What does my sensor say? No. That doesn't matter for him. Yeah, it does. No, he's matter morphing, not alchemy. Oh, uh, true, true. Good point. I mean, I can, I can certainly try. I mean, it'd be easier if I had like a. Like, um, another breather from my suit, but, like, um, oh well. 
I don't have enough spare parts. I mean, it's it's certainly not what you what they think it is, and what you think it is, that's for sure. Yeah. I don't know how breathable is it now. Well, how I don't know, John. How breathable is it now? <laughs> so you check your sensors. Yeah. You fly over to him. Yeah. Over near him, there's a <laughs> bubble of of breathable air, but it's only like a ten foot bubble around it. Around around Theros. Theros. You know what? You're gonna have to stick close to Xenia and. Uh, Okay, the fire balloon uh -huh. moves closer <laughs> <laughs> to, to my chest. <laughs> to uh, your chest. Just so, Velaco, do you breathe? I don't need to. Okay. I've kind of been just been doing hey, it. Hey, Zinia, how are you though. feeling now? Oh, that's better. Her grip tightens a little bit more on your neck as she takes in a deep breath. You can stop. I also can't feel how tight her grip is. Well, you can feel the pressure of it. You can't feel... You don't have tactile sensation, but you do know when something's pushing on you. And so you can feel it, that constriction. You're done. <laughs> okay. And he drops it. <laughs> Another four minutes and you'll hear it hit the bottom. All right. Well, you know what? Hey, um, that's our solution for now. Like, uh, we stay close to like um, Xenia and Harry. Xenia and Harry. Harry's like, you know, we're just sort of stuck on him. So I sticking close. You can't really get much closer. When it comes time, stick close to the ball of fire because he's creating oxygen. Oh right. Okay. Sure. The great ball of fire that will. Goodness, she's she's contained in so, a balloon. Uh, what's going on exactly? Apparently we're figuring we're to figuring breathe. out how to breathe. Oh, you'll need to breathe. Oh, you know it's that's like the a first thing here's like you know you, you breathe in with your lungs, you breathe out. That's that's how you do it. That's like the first thing they teach you how to life. Glad I could help. They yeah. don't even teach you it. Smack you on the bottom and say, "Hey, breathe." I was ne I was never taught that. Yeah, you didn't have a tush either. <laughs> Bite my black exoskeleton ass. Wow, right in the spinnerets. I don't have any of those. Oh, you've been neutered. I'm so sorry. My I race doesn't have spinnerets. Your, your pets. Oh, I hate it. We don't actually make webs. <laughs> You could. <coughs> no. You just think really hard. No, that's not a thing my race does. I could give you artificial spinnerets. And make me what? Into some sort of uh, comic book hero? Oh, I don't know. If you want. We're talking about comic book heroes? I got some action figures of comic Shut book up, heroes. Shut <laughs> Alright, so, um, you know what? Uh... That's just rude. <laughs> Johar? Yeah, what's up? So keep climbing down. Um, okay. Like, when the fight goes down, there's gonna be four dudes. Pick one, because they're all badasses, and try and, like, uh, like, uh, action figure him into, like, like, attacking his buddies. Yeah, I'll, I'll need something of him, actually. I'll have to get close to him. Take something of him. Hey, do you get motion sick at all? No, not really. We're gonna try to make him motion sick. Why? To get him to vomit so you can uh, eat more. <clears throat> it's been a long day. Yeah, yeah it's you been need a, to eat more. It's been like a full day. I'm fine. I can eat more. So Trevor, I mean not Trevor, Velaco. <laughs> did you just NPC me? Yeah, <laughs> I, did. I did. That was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Quasi? <laughs> I mean, Jason. So, Velaco, yeah. um, when the fight starts, if, um, I, I know you can, like, do the, that Sub-Zero thing, get over here, like, with... That like, is Scorpion. Vegas, or Scorpion, whatever, I didn't play that game too much. Um, hey, it's a movie, too! You don't talk I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, like, you can, you can, you can pull things to you, right? Which I eat people. You can pull things to you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember in Seattle when I made yeah. people into grilled cheese sandwiches because the roof was on fire and yeah. I flung them into it? So, oh, that's great. Um, Sounds delicious. Yeah, it was great. So, 
if you can like Go. take like one of our opponents and grab like I don't know, pluck a hair or something out of them and give it to like uh, give it to uh, Joe Joe Har. Hardy Har Har, I can't remember my name. I was uh, trying to remember which Joe you were. Joe I don't Joe bro. Har. I I sink into the ground. Person. You know they make bills for that. Yeah. So, anyways, like. Can we close the wall? Grab a piece of the and give it to like Joe. Do they need those in the royal courts? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, okay. Just, we're just talking about this just, while keeping. Wait, how many? Down. So, what if I give him an arm? Down, I'm assuming. Yes, an arm would possibly that work. Works. Yes, works. I can take an arm. Okay. As long okay. as it's of the person. So while you guys are moving down, what do you do? <laughs> Over there? You're gonna vomit? Mm -hmm. Outside of your mask, I'm assuming? Yes. You're vomiting? Okay. Why is he vomiting? I'm trying to get him to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll vomit on top of you, you realize this. <laughs> oh you. no, we're headed straight down. Yeah, um... I'm still you can vomit directly. I'm not Unfortunately, sure you're not above them, but you do vomit. As the, as the dwarf spews down into the liquid. Okay, but why though? Adding more biomass. Kill on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> he had been drinking beforehand before he came down. And with all of the movement that we just, yeah. What Pretty comes in must go out. Your planet. Well, there goes your breakfast. Hope you enjoy it. Turn me apart, Lisa. Okay, so you guys continue moving down uh -huh. while you're discussing this. Um, at one point, you do get about 50 feet above where you feel the energy guys this the, is the evil is from this is big and 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 50 feet above meaning it's actually through the wall more so are you nearing like an, an entrance or an alcove not that you can see i don't We're like getting this. close to the bottom but you are getting closer to the bottom so maybe we have to go to the hey, bottom and someone make head this, over and then up can someone make this dirt Trying to go through. John. Another penny. Um, less than a minute to hit the, the surface. Would that even work? John? Would that destroy the. What like, kind of metal is this? It's an amalgamation of metal, unfortunately. Cool. I, I can still try to matter morph it. You, you I don't can think certainly I, try. Yeah, but would the whole thing hold if you just turned like a section of it to dirt or ground? Know, it's a wall. And it's just, just having a weird brick in there. Yeah. <sighs> I don't think I want to go in there if it's going to break and, you know, crush me. No, because the weight of all of the other <coughs> sides being pushed will <coughs> hold the rest of it together. It's just a 30 or foot so block of dirt that I would like to try Works to Works in Minecraft. Okay. No, because no, of the blast radius. Yeah. Remember, if you try, any other metals within your range may also be affected. Mm-hmm. Well, my range is infinite. Please don't. You don't turn this entire thing into dirt? That'd be great for me. I don't want my suit to, like, uh, all of a sudden start <laughs> I'm thinking everyone wearing metal. Like, the entire It continent. has to be the same kind of metal <laughs> as these walls. And the walls are an amalgamation of all kinds of metal. But I'm just moving in extra molecules to turn them somehow into dirt. Which means and if you, you turn, you if, you turn like, uh, if you turn us into dirt, that's not going to help. Can you turn shadows into dirt? Does that work? Can you do that? <laughs> can I turn? Can I turn the wall into shadows? <laughs> no. no. Look, because I don't Damn, think I can the tunnel through shadows. Is so confused. Because I don't think I can tunnel through this metal. It's really difficult. Did it for like um, a second. <laughs> Try it again. Uh, okay. I'm gonna look for any imperceptible percept imperfections in the surface. Well, roll. See if there's like a mm -hmm. door mm -hmm. or a, uh, I mean, Right now you guys are above, still oh, no. above the bottom. Was it? You guys haven't gotten 19. all the way to the bottom yet. 19 uh, to 11. Run from the wall? Sorry, for him to of his own volition go into the wall? So you put your hand up to the wall and, and you to, go... Try to get in. Okay, it's about as effective as this. Yes! Better than last time, baby. Yeah. yeah, yeah not, not, not. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Still can't. No. It's still too. Still better than last time. I felt like something. Yeah. <laughs> last time. There I, was a little bit of. Game. Last time, I actually felt like I was being repelled. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Right. Well, that's so cool. no, uh, no. What would you roll? Bruce? Eleven. Eleven. Um, no, there isn't right there. Um, the actual the ledge actually ends right where you're at, um, oh. and it doesn't have like it's not a segmented section. Okay. So I have and a question. And there's no imperceptible. Perceptible, uh, perceptible imperfections. Perceivable yeah. imperfections. In the uh, okay, so the last rung of the ledge. So, mm-hmm. Instead of pulling it out, push it. In. Okay, so you're gonna grab on it and push. Yeah. Higher low. Hi. Okay. So you 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 push it in. So you see Jason reach past you and goes. He slides it in like maybe an inch. And you guys hear this a uh, grinding noise from below you. Don't worry, guys. They totally don't know we're coming. I, uh, <laughs> you know, I've been <laughs> dropping things like, like, like yeah, which means they think hour. that we probably okay. die. So, uh, falling. so how about instead of going down and fighting <laughs> these people and like with possible <laughs> death and mutilation and yeah, death. Yeah, the good stuff. Me die. We Sean, should just go from the other from way. Below you, there's a grinding and sound. not do this. Okay. The and then, uh, instruction, or? and then after like a minute, you see a platform raising towards you through the fog. Oh, yeah. How about we not go? How nice the... of them. If you don't do this, I'll kill you myself. Here's like, if I don't do it, you'll kill him himself yourself. If either of you want to try to climb this, be my guess. Harry, you can make uh, things. And I said climb. How far down is this platform? It's um, coming up. After a minute, it's like 20 feet below you. It's it's slowly moving up. Like, less than a mile an hour. Slowly moving up. I'm going to drop Lots of noise. Alright, well... Hey, Strider drop. Boy! In about a minute You're or so... You're already on it. <laughs> as you say it, he drops from the wall and lands on the platform. Okay. And does it drop? As, he's, as he lands on the platform, it stops moving. Okay. What's it uh, covered with? I don't like this. Um, it's it's slightly it's slick. I'm assuming you're using your adherence sure. of nine, eight, seven, nine. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay, so as you hit it, you actually have to take a couple seconds to really adhere to it because it's very slick. But okay. you are able to get your footing, so to speak. I still say we should go back. I drop everybody. Oh man! Well, I'm just gonna hold on. It's on a platform. Yeah, so it um, takes up the whole bottom, doesn't it? I'm on his no, back. No, no, so. it's, oh, it doesn't. It's, it's, a oh, ten, okay. it's a ten by ten area, so and it's, it's a good size it? area. But you're like seven feet, so you could drop people onto it, no problem. Wait, so, so the platform is ten feet. How big is the cistern? Huge. 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 Huger than ten feet. Yeah. But this is touching the wall. On this. This side. is coming straight up. Along the wall that you were on, correct? Yeah, the cistern. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't explain that. So as you, as you were crawling out at a at a the downward angle, this thing was like easily yard, hundreds of yards deep in diameter. In diameter, hundreds of yards. Yeah, this I mean, Velaco is such a great mathematician. So the diameter know. of this is more than a football field, guys. Yeah, so... And I actually am a good math. Does the platform start moving, <laughs> or is the... No, no, no. <laughs> so as he hit it, I'm it sorry, kid. any upward momentum it had stopped oh. and is just sort of sitting there. Yeah, You're still hearing the grinding noise. It's just not going anywhere. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, fly up to that and last, math. Um, like, well, lunch mm-hmm. thing. What's the pull it back out to normal. Okay. So you pull it back out. Um, Hello, Trevor. Trevor. I'm still on his back. Yeah. yeah. Hi. Is it going up or going down? Or Okay. So so you pull it back out, and it drops. Like, Put it back in. Really quick. <laughs> Push it back in. It's like... <laughs> Push it back in. <laughs> yeah, you're letting your adherence go. Harry's like... Whoa. Oh, my God! <laughs> Push it back in. Push it back in. Push it back in. <laughs> it, it drops like a good, like, 20 feet. Oh, I should specify, stops. when I was saying I dropped my adherence, I mean... Superhero landing! <laughs> Yeah, I, I, assume, I, assume <laughs> I was still holding on. So. Yeah, yeah. Zemi was still holding on. He was holding on. Harry is like he was starting to fall, and then it dropped. He's like, ah! And he's like grabbing a hold of you, death grip on whatever part he could touch. I'd like him to Super make a check. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he rolled a eighteen plus nine. 
to grab you. <laughs> but okay. I <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Super Sorry about that. I thought it was gonna like descend slower. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll... I don't like falling You're after like, last I today, time. I don't wanna die today. I don't wanna die today. I'll, I'll land on the platform too. Okay. The call team had enough falling for me. I, I want to make sure they hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's not a lot that makes my dead heart laugh. What are his jets? Let this make me laugh. Hmm? What are his jets do to the thing? It's pushing the fumes away from you. That's all it's doing. All right. Of all the things I've killed. <laughs> there's, there's not enough oxygen around his jets to ignite the fumes at this point. <laughs> Alright, so... No, there is the bubble of air around it. No, no, no. The bubble of air is around... Pharos. Pharos. <coughs> and Pharos didn't plummet with all of them. Pharos stayed where he was. They fell and he's like, oh, ooh, hmm. And he's slowly coming down. <laughs> Alright, so... Um... <coughs> like... So we're all standing there. Yeah. Ferris is like, I can pull this for you if you want, or push it or pull it until you guys get down to where you need to be. Sure. Okay. Oh, uh, no. Going down. We don't know. We won't be able to <laughs> see. <laughs> Are you there yet? We don't know where we're Oh, wait going. a minute. I thought it was going to, like, <laughs> like, actually push the platform down. No. 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 He pushed the button. <laughs> he pushes it in and pulls it out. Just real quick. <laughs> you guys drop another five feet. Are you there yet? Uh, we better stop that. Like, nope. Just leave uh, it alone now. <laughs> how, how many times did you do that? Do it every like three or four feet. <laughs> <laughs> I need to control <laughs> exceptionals as, as you guys start randomly plummeting and stopping. The the grounding the grinding noise is getting a lot louder. Nine, by the way. <laughs> Fourteen. Twenty one. Each time. Three. <laughs> Each time it's, it's the, it never really seems to stop. It just gets louder and louder and louder. Three. Three. Yeah, you don't notice. Mechanical can. Well, can I um, what did you roll? I had a twelve. Twelve. Can I also do okay. mechanical construction. And for the okay, so so as after like the third small little like one to two foot drop, um, you guys do see a doorway off to your left. Oh. About like twenty feet down. Is there any markings on the doorway? Now there is not a platform in front of the doorway to cool. walk onto. We can just crawl um, into it. There is, and the rest of the the rest of the surface of the bottom, from what you can see, is all liquid. So I can just crawl into it. Is what you're telling me. Stop <laughs> 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 my shadow. <laughs> what? <laughs> I forget. Did Ferris have a mirror? What? Yeah, yeah, he had a mirror. That's just my head cannon. Hey, the Ferris, <laughs> um, feet By down. the way, low. They were through that door. So oh. you say what? Hey, Pharos, about 20 feet down more. So don't just go bang. Don't just go bang. You're not sure if we heard you or not? The 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 platform just keeps randomly dropping. <laughs> we should. What do you guys Work, babe. <coughs> pick them back up, I guess, and go back onto the wall. Oh, okay. The, the, the platform I'm... just eventually drops down and you hear a splash as it hits the water. Yeah. Ferris goes, I think that's too far. What do you think? Yes. Sorry. 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 comes gliding down slowly. Okay, Gone. so we're... Work you guys are coming. hanging out above the door? Currently. On the wall. No, no, other than you, I don't think anyone drank alcohol. Oh, wait, no. Take that back, Harry. Uh-huh. Apparently, they're just... Oh, yeah. That. Uh, Harry loses it. He starts puking all over you as soon as, like, you know, you grab him and... Is it, is you it, better clean that up. Is it an open door or a closed door? It's an open door. It's an open passageway. Gone. Uh, yeah, you lose it too. So both Harry and uh, Ivan become fountains <laughs> of uh, bile and vomit. So you can either clean this up yourselves or I'm dropping you into the liquid. <laughs> Sorry, I just said that. Oh. Some of those berries weren't berries. <laughs> what berries? It was coming out of my pouch. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> he tried rubbing it off. <laughs> so. <laughs> you have to use a personal tanker on there. This is why I only talk so, quality meat. So apparently they're just through this door. <laughs> well, it's an open. It's an open passageway. It's not a door. It's more of a doorway or an arch. So 
You want to make a... Uh, you need knockers on I was told not mm -hmm. to go there. You need knockers on the way? <laughs> so it's a uh, vomitorium? Yeah, you want to make like a, a fake... Like a, vol like a vomitorium, if you will. How would I do that? Is it pitch black in there? Yeah, it's it's dark. Um, well, it's Can't very foggy. It's, it's not pitch black. It's extremely foggy. Hmm. No. Yeah, unless someone has a way like to... The, is that... I can sort of go invisible. Is that the, the, the play small the you that can do that? Oh. The me I hate? Yes. Uh, the warden? Yeah, she can do that. Oh, not oh. her. Sure, maybe. Zemi is like, what? I'm sorry, what, what are you guys talking about? Huh? No, don't bring her oh, out. Uh, I would see never if we can like, make halluc... Uh, That's why I like you. Make like, visible hallucinations of herself. Oh yeah, hallucinations. Yeah. yeah, I mean, a lot of sprays yeah. can. Yeah, okay. So, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe we can make illusions uh, and have them go through the door and draw fire. For what? Can you do that? Just doing what now? I can make, like, little lights. <laughs> um, I can... Right? Good thing you wasted that one. I can create patterns of color that dance and add to a party. Um... Okay, so well, that's, I mean, I can look like other people. I can ignite the air. Yeah, let's not. You're really suicidal, you know? You should see a shrink. I killed him. The shrinks? And, and looking at the space, she's at, oh, I can also do this. She reaches into her pack and pulls out a rope. <gasps> and, and, like, snaps it real quick and throws it up in the air, and you see it just sort of, and sort of gets really solid, and she... Let's go of you and grabs a hold of the rope. What is that holding on to? Um, itself. Okay. I, and you didn't think you'd do that earlier. I've only got a 50 foot rope. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see if it casts a shadow. Does it cast a shadow? So uh, she threw it out into the fog area that's that, that dimly Damn. lit thing with no shadow. Yeah. If you have anything, go be next to the rope. Do you have anything that makes you there. stronger, more survivable? I can get big. Oh, uh, yeah, can you get big? Oh, and then in the, the top of the rope, she climbs up to the top and you see her vanish. There's a pocket up here! Hey, can I okay. find that too? I'll fly sure. up there. Was like hey, a pocket can you find this that rope so I can climb up? Of nothing. Of nothing? Yeah, you stick your head into like this weird, shimmery area of nothing. Yes, I oh. called you on that. Space only holds one person. No, nope, it holds up to six. Does it really? Yeah. Hmm. Hers holds up to six. Hey, Spider Boy, can you put me next to that so I can climb up there? I'm trying to figure out if uh, I can fit in the doorway if I'm big. Um, big. So the, the, the archway is 10 feet. So, so if you're big and you crawl I'm along the ceiling. Feet big. And you crawl along the ceiling, you won't completely fill that 10 foot thick mess between the ceiling and the floor. So you could do it. As 16 foot me? As 16 foot you, because 16 foot you is what? About five and a half feet thick? Sure. If we did a cross section, probably, maybe six feet thick. You're still not 10 feet thick. So, well, you know, we could uh, discover experimentally what this cross section is. Give me a hacksaw. <laughs> Foopa, foopa. Well, see, the problem is we need to get a, fifth, a 16 foot person to do a proper cross section. Yeah, right, uh, right, yeah. right. So when you find one, send them our way. Okay. All right, so. <laughs> no, please don't. That'd be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so what type of plan? We have Joe Cal. He can grow. I no, wasn't a real talking person. To, I, wasn't about talking, I wasn't talking about cutting into them. I was just like getting beside them, have them lay on the ground and drop a ruler. Joe, did you say you could be invisible? Christ. Yes. <laughs> Partially. Hey, just put me next to the so rope so I can climb up. So like, just your I'm head. In, no, I'm invisible. You put near the rope. But you can see the shimmer around me, sort of type of thing. Like if you pay really close attention. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. Xenia just jumped off. It's the like thing. a cloak. I mean, you are within jumping distance. Hey, but he's got watch. For, for, uh, for a five seven elf, she's only seven inches taller. Then you should um, be able to do it. I'm gonna. You go, let me go while I do this. I'm yeah, if you want it off, you can get off. So I'm going to use my blending and, like, go in the oh, yeah, So you see, like, the uh, predator effect around 
Okay. This is what I mean. Best way to describe it. He blends ish. If you like, really look, you can no, see the lines. The lensing effect, effect, like through the fog. The it's, 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 yeah. Through, through the, the fog, fog it, through the fog, it's it's a really good. It's really good yeah, in the so fog. I can do this. Not in the fog. It's it's like very so, noticeable. So well, can, you, very, can you can you eat people like while invisible? Yeah, I can do anything. Well, yeah. So, I mean the the no their essence will float out of them towards you, so be yeah, there will be a visible thing. If uh, It'll be a little um, weird to see, but yeah, I could do it. Um, here here's the question I have. Um. Roll in agility. Isn't Tordrake able to sense anything that's in his fog? I don't know. Maybe. I hate Tordrake. Maybe that's why Maybe. he's uh, already Without prepared. Yeah, you're, you're able to leap over and grab a hold of him. Well, you know, if that's the case, then he's been aware of us ever since we walked into like the sewers. I yeah. really hate Tordrake. Would explain a lot, should, actually. You should leave. So is it like a solid foreigner? Yeah, she she helps you up, and you, you sit off to the side. There's a there's a hole about Being like this big around. It's not that. there, but no, it'll help with the other solid. Though. Everything you, else is you, you can see what's happening below you. Perfectly. Give her a thank you. True. I'll just keep on moving. You're welcome. Wipes off the last. Is it actually real air up there? Yeah, yeah it's I can get big. I shouldn't be able to make it through that doorway. Yeah. He can get big. Ooh, I so can go invisible and hide behind him, and then I'll sneak off to the side, have their focus be on him, and it's like not my mom sort of thing. But Jader, you know what I'm saying? No. Right. Awesome. Harry's like, I have no idea what you just said. I don't either. Let's do it. Okay. Crazy. So, I guess crazy. I start growing. So, are you going in first? <laughs> Wait, he's totally going in first. No, it's icy white people. <laughs> are we going to get the others? We can hear you. Yeah. Are you going to come down or no? Um. Yeah, we could come down. Just tell me when you want us down there. I think we have a plan. Oh, shit. Okay, you, you got a go sword first. of defense, right? I can do what now? They use first. You got well, a sword of defense. If I yeah, go, I got the sword of defense. I love that thing. Can I have it? Why? <laughs> give, me, give me a minute. <laughs> Good air. If I'm going in first. Oh, it's magic. Yeah, but you know. I appreciate it. So this is how this usually goes. You're down. big. We get into the fog, and then I immediately lose the ability to have any powers. Well, aren't we already Here's like, in uh, the fog? Whoa, 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 wait. wait. What? Usually what happens is we go to fight Tordrake and immediately I get forced into being small and also I can't do anything. Well, if and I... then I explode. <laughs> well, if you're going to get know? small, then I'm going to become visible. Then both of our plans are useless. Yeah. You did not have any laughs of abilities. I did not. You no, you're fun. right. Just letting you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still invisible too, so... I mean, I would assume so, because I was a shadow throughout the entire thing, so it's like... Yeah, I'm, I'm letting you know. Unless they, like, deadass saw me and I just couldn't see him, it's just like, we're being watched. Charlie. <laughs> so... <laughs> so, at this time I pull out the crossbow of maiming. Um, and make it's, sure it's loaded. It's loaded, because you made sure it was loaded the last time, and then you didn't use it. So it is loaded, and okay. ready to use. Okay. So my sure. guns. How many how many reload clips do I have? Um, so you were given six. Yeah. And you've and you okay. had it fully loaded without one of the clips. You've reloaded it twice now. So, so you still four, have four reloads. Clips. Okay. But don't you have more arrows that you can put into those reload clips? Yes. Yes. You you bought like how many? Oh no. But Harry has them in the pouch. In the. That's in that's, that's fine. Like like two hundred. If, if, if I need if I need my to. Inventory. <laughs> If I need to, like, 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 get more arrows after Bolts, reloading four yeah. times, like, then we're in big trouble. <laughs> I mean, I can shadow you some arrows. I'm not sure how the mechanics can work for it, Can you shadow some of these reload clips? <laughs> sure, it's, I, it works for items. Full, full of arrow or bolts? Yeah, so long as it's there before. So, so as you're pulling out the clips, are you going to show them? Yep. Okay, so as you're pulling out a clip, you see a shadowy hand grab the shadow of your clips, and suddenly there's clips coming at you out of the shadows. There's another clip. Bonus. <laughs> Do I have a bandolier? Uh, a tactical bandolier. Sure, I'm gonna We have girls bandolier. of pouches. I'm going to pull another tactical <laughs> bandolier. <laughs> Now, Wait, you, you know that, that these anything? are limited time things. Yeah, so eventually you, they'll fade. You know. 
Oh. You okay. might want to use these first. Okay. Wait, cool. so can you do that with anything? <laughs> or no? And, and you would notice as, as the shadow of your of the bolts was animated, uh-huh. your bolts those bolts now no longer have a shadow. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't just... <laughs> wow. <laughs> do you do side work? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, yes. Awesome. Mm. We need graphene tubes. <laughs> <laughs> no, those have to be permanent. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, okay. So, so, you know, I hate to say it, but, like, my best plan is, like, me going in, like, like, screaming like a banshee, letting loose a flight of bolts, and ducking off to the side while everybody else piles into the room. I'll be invisible. I got this. Let's do it. I, yeah, Harry's but, like, yeah, I'll let you guys go first, and I'll pile in last. Harry, we need you. Yeah, You're still I'm on my you. leg. Well, yeah, yeah last is, and I'll be on the back of your leg. I could try to draw something out. There's not a whole lot of things for me in the shadow, but I can make a lot of sounds. Okay. Okay, so sure. Her, her all this while if, we're up there. if you can yeah. draw one of them out, and yeah, you guys can contribute. I mean, you can even see. You all can of draw them one of them out. If we can, and we, and dig we can into push me. back one of them, and like then it's like I can take control of their body. Oh, yeah! Plants a bomb on me. Now I gotta figure out how to. I'll do walk this. in. I got it. I try to sound 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 exactly like Ivan. Let me see your character sheet real quick. What do you say? Herbert, have you it Pass over to me. That's what he says. I don't think I can perform that, but I'm. <laughs> Might be able to try something. At least try to mimic it. What are you talking about? It's a cry head dragon no. ball. But okay. I'm not going to be uh, saying so, it. I'm no. Gonna, I, no. So, no. So the downside is your character does not have the fine arts skill. Ah, son of a bitch. I do. However. However. I'm a good actor. Um, you do have the ventriloquism power. Dude, I should and I'll look that up real quick for you. Pass that over. Ventriloquism? Correct. What kind is it? Uh, I believe that is a physical? I don't know. I can enter politics with this character. Fine arts actor, silver tongue. I got this. Who are you going to be? I can enter politics. <laughs> <laughs> or you could be an actor. Yeah, bloodsuckers. We don't have enough of them in you know, yeah, the world. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Look, it's not physical. season. And, you know, just as I'm doing this, I'm also going to be pulling out my Ebon Blade. Okay. So does anyone have a bomb? I have a, a blade made bomb? of shadows. Does anyone have a bomb? Uh, yes. Character you do. projector voice over <laughs> distance can be used to make it appear I the do. character somewhere. Okay. okay. So, without the without the fine arts, it does not allow you to sound exactly. Why you can make you a check. I mean, you don't have to be skilled in guys. voices to try to sound like out. someone else. Uh-huh. The skill just helps a lot. Attach the bomb to him. Alright, I'll try to make a roll and I'll try to set there. And if it succeeds, I'm just gonna have you shout whatever the hell it is. You know, okay. something Gaelic. So okay. um that's what that's that's what we could do. What is your character's uh nimbus? That's a four. And what's your character's charm? My character's charm is a six. Okay, cool. It's a six. I have a nine charm. I'm charming. Hey, okay, uh, 10 or better. Check. Okay. 2d10, we're rolling them together. Can you get me some check? Yeah. Awesome. That is an 8. Okay. So, when you do your Ivan, mm-hmm. um, make it sound more like an Irish, or sorry, make it sound more like an Italian Scotsman. Hey, really? Awesome. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> That's not really work. I like this you idea. Know, you know, hey, what you doing down there? I mean, uh, come on, top of the morning. Something like that. Yeah. Top of the morning, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of something like that. Yeah. Right, yeah that, you was, do it. that was all over the place. Just like, you know, yeah, exactly. Top of the morning, too. Yeah. Top of the morning, you rat bastard. <laughs> Does that mean he's going to switch sides like, you know, every other Italian? Hey. <laughs> hey! Hey! Don't do Italian. You know. Amandi, Amandi. 
Jumanji. Not Jumanji. Yes, it's going to sound like an Italian scout. Jumanji means eat. But, you know, you, you, you do your best in what you can do. You know, I'm you know, doing my best. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. me. I got the bell. Right. I got the bell. Do I have any grenades? <laughs> stroke. Yeah. Do I have any grenades left? He's asking for a bomb. Um, higher low? Low. No, the closest thing to a grenade is the thing that you... The, the stuff you have in that so flask. So he's squeezing some of it out. Okay. How close to the, the liquid are we? Um, you and her are more than 50 feet above the liquid. Hey, Wait a minute. That, that's not going to work because if a bomb goes out, like the whole place goes up and we all die. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly that guy. <laughs> yeah. But we'll kill everyone Well, in here. you know, you can Maybe. shadow step to another dimension. Sure, I hope I can, need to. If I can do that in time, because otherwise, that's if I don't, and <laughs> if I catch on fire wait and then do it. Wait a minute. Can somebody go with that liquid down there? No one's close you enough. See a, you see a vial come out of nowhere, out, right beside the top of the rope. It's like an eighth full of liquid. Not even. It's like a maybe a sixteenth full of liquid. There's I don't recognize what kind of liquid it is. <laughs> what do you want with this? Oh, please. The liquid that's probably way uh, down I, there. I can't the reach. It's really far down there. Cannot no, stress enough that we are above bomb. the doorway. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah you, you guys are above the doorway. The here, liquid but is still a... guys, guys, 10 guys, feet. Guys. He's not dropping down there. You could easily grab the thing or put your arm close enough for him to crawl down. But guys, he doesn't want to crawl down. Guys, so. <laughs> there shall be no bombs. We want to live, so bombs will, will kill us all. I need all of you to roll perception rolls at this point. Oh, we're, sure. We've been arguing too much. I am that is a 12. Uh, 11. Okay. Uh, 4 and 4. Plus two. If anything should come out of the doorway, I'm prepared to 29. grab it. And by grab, I mean 16. 29? 11. 12. And George is muttering to himself that <laughs> he must be doing math. So I'm going to assume more than a 20. Oh, yeah. Over 60. Okay. So at this point, while you guys are talking amongst Did you yourselves. You say 60? Uh huh. While you guys are talking amongst yourselves, you guys hear from inside, oh, yes, bombs. I don't recommend that. Not if you want to live. Do I which, do we recognize the voice? Is. Whose voice is that? You've never heard the voice before. Is it male or female? It's a male voice. Hey there. You what if we're already dead inside? It is one of the people from inside there, but it wasn't either of the two that spoke last. What if we're already dead inside? You know, dead inside, dead outside, dead through the sides. Whichever I love that one. Do it. But death is death. It's kind of fun. Hey, so who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Uh, why don't you come out in here? I'll, I'll put uh, you Why don't you come out here? Uh, why don't you come out here? Climbs down, hops in. Okay, so, so you climb down the, the rope, swing over. You see Ivan, like, slip down the rope, swing over, and land in the doorway. You gonna stop him? Mm -hmm. Hey, can you make it breathable in here for me, please? If you can't breathe, I can't help you. So, did you say you had tea or toffee? Uh, would you like a spot of tea? I could put on some Earl Grey. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah, so, how are you gonna? How are you gonna heat the tea? I'm not going in. I'm just talking to him. Don't worry about that. Let me. Let There's me worry about heat heating without the tea. Doing for you. Oh, so hey, like since we're on talking terms right now. Um, yes, by all means. Why don't you come in? It's so much more comfortable. How about you come on out? I mean, it's well lit. So you walk in, and literally, it's so bright. There is not a single shadow around you. Nope. <laughs> so, so nope. What do I see in front of me? Um, you see a white hallway a very bright white hallway um and you can't really tell the depth because everything going. is equally light i don't know if you guys have ever been in a room that was a hundred percent lit in all directions i've been in a white room yeah you're like uh it's it's disorienting it's it's you get that whole matrix feeling like you're standing there you you're waiting for shelves to pop up you know he's yeah so, so after line. like you know 120 feet you see a guy he's you know it opens up. You see the weird wall. You see him sitting there. He's got long white hair pulled back into a braid. He's wearing a nice, smart British suit. You see a little table with some tea and some coffee. Another little table with some biscuits. And three, four, five, six, seven, seven chairs. 
<laughs> set, setting comfortable chairs, and then there's a little stool right beside the coffee that he's sitting on. He's just uh, close to the game. And his, he's wearing a nice gray suit. No shadows at all. Uh, he's got stunning steel blue eyes. He sits Absolute down no shadows anywhere. He sits down close to the guy. Okay. And well, the closest is like literally for me to you away. So, you know. So he? Okay. If he's he, he got seven over, shake your hand. Hold on. Dominion. If he's Pleasure. got seven chairs, but he doesn't have a comfortable way for our seventh person to sit. I'm just, telling you what, I'm, just, I'm just telling him what he sees. You don't see that. I know, because I'm still on the door frame. So, <laughs> yeah, in front of you is the whiteness. But so, see, I even walked down into that. No, if you don't I'm mind, I, I brought my own dream. I thought you had a part of you sticking down like a, no, I'm a hand or finger. Nope. With your 360 degree vision. Nope. Okay. I'm not periscoping that. Never mind. Uh, so, if you don't right. mind, I bring me own drinks. By all means. You know, if you want some coffee or tea, I've got it. But otherwise, uh, crump it. What type of tea? I should. That's where oh, great going. Okay. Hmm? Bites into one has a sip. Yeah, it's it's a. Well, you know what? It's a very standard British crumpet, which means super dry. Um. <laughs> with tea. Me. No, thank you. So I guess. You guys don't hear a scream of pain as so, Ivan walks in. Ivan, are you alive? Hey. You hear that come echoing down the hallway. Come on in. You got tea and crumpets. God, he's turned to Just to make sure that you're the real Ivan, how many nipples do you have? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, it's really Ivan. <laughs> it's real Ivan. <laughs> the, the guy looks at you with like a confused look on his face. And he starts he, looking he, at your chest. He was making sure it was a real me. No, no, I got that, but... So how many nipples... <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Buy him some, some dinner first. John, this is not a question you ask a man on the first date. He ends up to his uh, vest. I only got two. And okay, he, good to know. You, good to you know. see the tattoo? That's weird. <laughs> you see the beard and the tattoo and all? Yep. Yeah. Oh, only two. Interesting. Yeah. Ah, uh, fine. I'm coming in. Okay, so you, you land and walk in, yeah. or are you going to fly all the way in? I'm all, all okay. I'm walking sure behind him, invisible though. Okay. Um, I am still on the door frame. Okay, so you go in, and, and again, it's disorienting as hell because literally the there's senses. no. Even the protected so the protected senses uh, protects you from like bright blinding lights, right. and that's not what this is. Um, so you're you're being disoriented just by the fact that there's no shadows for reference. Most you know the the whole advantage of having perception is you have shadows that tell you the top and the bottom and depth how far perception. things are away, and depth perception is gone in this sort of environment. Or so in my case, being able to do anything outside of punch or kick. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Does your shadow funny. blade stop existing too? So, you know what? Hey, um, I'll walk down, take a seat, it's like, Hey, come on in, have a seat! Okay. You walk in and he goes, Oh, please, have a seat. You see the guy that I described. Sure. Um, so, coffee, tea... Oh. Tea's going on, so... Earl Grey? I mean, it's ready. Yeah. Cream, sugar. He, he pulls out a nice white cup that almost blends in with the white everything else and pours mm -hmm. some tea no, in the hand. Do I? Do yeah. I know this person? You've never seen him before in your life. Oh. He is about six foot tall. Mm -hmm. He has, like I said, the, the whitish gray hair pulled back in a ponytail. Yeah. He's wearing a, a gray, a very light you said silver gray hair. suit. Sorry, silver hair. He's he's wearing a very light gray suit. He's uh, Caucasian. He's got blue eyes, no facial hair. So, um, hey, um, thank you very eyes. much for your hospitality. You're welcome. If if I can't be hospitable, then the world is over. I mean, I like being nice to people before I kill them. Oh, I thought you were going to extend us guest right. While we're talking, yes. Oh, oh yeah. No. So I'm not, I'm not going to kill you well, without telling you I'm going to kill you. Well, well while you we're just talking, did. while we're talking, like <laughs> hey, uh, uh, so, like I'm Jason and you are Dominion. Dominion. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Dominion. You're welcome. So, uh, are you the principal in this? Uh, in this, you spot? might as well have a seat. No, I'll stand. Although that's a really good effect with the white and the white and the blending. That's really good. So are that's, you? Wow. Hey, Jason. Uh, Earl Grey. Can you see any light sources? Is it poisoned? <laughs> no, no. No, no, I won't poison you. Speaking of poison, is anyone low on apple juice? 
No, I, I picked my own. Yeah, actually, I, I'm, I'm almost out of grape juice. Do you have any sugar? Oh, I got it. <laughs> One lump or two? Uh, three, actually. He, he lifts up three. a white saucer with perfectly white lumps of sugar. <laughs> God, you're everything I hate. <laughs> Hey, you have me your mug there, boy. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, would you like to drink? Jason, do no, you no. see any light sources? I'd give good money for somebody with colorization right now. Oh my god. <laughs> you say that through your helmet? Okay. Yeah. It's just like, oh my god. Oh, Zini oh said she can change colors things, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zini said she can make colors dance. John. So that was her exact words. Your hey, Zini, please? are you able to what? make your uh, tinkered, uh, shadows of any kind? We pass this over that way. One apple or two? Uh, one ish. So one and a half is. So Dominion, are you the principal in this uh, this endeavor, or are you an agent of somebody else? Well, it really depends what you mean. I mean, I've been hired. If that's what you're talking. Ah, about. Ah, okay. So let me ask you this: How loyal are you? Can you be bought? I'm okay. just curious. One second. And if you can, what's your price? Uh, yes, actually, sure. my follow-up question would that be if you would follow some form of code, an assassin's code of some sort. She goes, I can do rainbows? Hmm. Like moving rainbows? But can you make shadows? And I can write things on things? Can you black out areas of intense light? I can make rainbows? And I can write on things. With, with things that are only visible to me and my friends. Is she a fucking bat jab, or what is this? <laughs> yeah. She's an elf. Um, that explains... There I mean, are one as bad as fairies. I mean, I can, I can create an, an umbrella? Or something? It could an umbrella cause. work? So that would sort of cause a shadow within the umbrella? Would it though? Well, maybe. I mean, I don't know what the. the I, I can create an item Is out of nothing. Is there any. Temporarily. Make me a really big parasol. Now, do you want a, a full parasol or do you want something almost like a mini tent? Yes. Okay, I can do that. But it's going to be small. Yeah. It's going to be like a cubic foot. So it's not really a tent. I said a small tent. Who tent. is one foot tall? I don't is know. Who Sifa is? Hey! She's smaller than that. That's so, you know, I mean, I'm used to one. dealing with, like, cats and I people. Too. I feel like... I don't think that's, that's one. Not, that's, that's a big one. That's, that's like, two. That's two. I, that is two. That's two. <laughs> that's trust me, dude. Trust me. I know how much grape juice it <laughs> held. <laughs> Thank you for the apple juice. You're welcome. So, on second thought, we don't need a cubic foot of an umbrella. Oh, okay. So, in the meanwhile, I asked Dominion the question. Um, wait a minute. I, I could do... I can do a little bit bigger than a cubic foot, maybe? I never tried. But I can probably do closer to 33 cubic feet. If I really push yeah, myself. Yeah, I do that. Stain the walls. I mean, that'd be really big, though. <laughs> you see how big I am? How are you gonna move with the invisible? Okay. Huh? Good thing I'm invisible. So, what do you want me to make? Can you make it so that it can be yeah. ten feet or just shy of ten feet in uh, like diameter? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I know about this type of room. Yeah. Yeah, of stations. I'll just start lowering it out, and you just sort of put it around you. And she starts dropping it so out of her thing. Mm -hmm. It's it's very limited time though. How long? Without starting to hallucinate. Yeah. Um. Um. So what that? An hour? Hopefully that'll last. Okay. Hey. Oh, look at this! Here it is. And she starts lowering it down at that point. I'll, I'll take it and <clears throat> Meanwhile. attempt to fill 
most of the hallway with it. Yeah, it'll it would get in there. It will literally rub against well what you think is the dimensions of the hallway. But as you start sliding it in, you do hear the <laughs> as the sides of it are but rubbing. But not in bright light. Correct. Inside of it, it is uh, darker. So there are some little shadows within it and things like that. Perfect. So. And she did make it a black material, but even against the, the bright walls, there is some light filtering in through the black material. But it's. Yeah. Gotcha. So you're working for somebody? Yes. But how, uh, how loyal are you? I never tell who I'm working for or what they paid me. A job's a job. <laughs> I've taken the job, and, you know, once we, we talk, you guys have a chance to rest. I understand getting down to here must have been, you know, a little challenging. Oh, um, it's Not really, bit. just getting on this though. hallway I've is. got a question, though. Well, it's like, um, if somebody uh, made you a better offer, would you... Uh, see, I mean... A bond you, is a bond. A bond is a bond? You know, once I, once I do a job... Okay, so what, what exactly is your job? Maybe we can do a. Maybe we can lawyer the, lawyer this up and like do a workaround. So we can. <laughs> I do like both. you're I'm a lawyer as a doctor. You know that you're trying oh, to find you. the loopholes and the workaround. Yeah. Almost. So, so Almost. what exactly? I can be a politician. What exactly do you need to do to fulfill <laughs> your bond? I'm just gonna kill half of you. That's kill what I was asked to do. Yeah. Like uh, pretty much half of us are all in. it. Oh, so. Um, so what if you killed? Oh, half me and the other guy. Well, what if kill you half killed half of me like six times? Tell you what I'll do. Tell you what I'll do. Uh huh. You let me experiment on half of you. On half, half of, of your me. numbers. Uh huh. Half of your group. Uh huh. And I'll call that as I killed you. Uh huh. And I, what does your touch do? Whatever I want it to. Oh, you're I think it's head on. Bad touch. Bad touch. So, where on the spider <laughs> ring did he touch you? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Trevor. So, so wait a minute. Should be it's no. just you right now. Like, Okay, it seems like please. your partner is, is, is slacking. Oh, no, he's not slacking. I told him to give us a minute. Or five. Or oh, ten. Okay. I'd let him know when you guys are ready. Oh. And, and before you guys even start thinking of doing one of your patented, I'm going to shoot him now. I watched. That was a great arena fight, by the way. Amazing! Uh -huh. That was great. Well, before thanks. you I do one pride, of those things. I take pride in my, my work. Yeah, well, so do I. Before you do that, just know that as soon as something like that's going to happen, there's going to be an explosion, and it will kill all of you. <laughs> Um, we'll, so it'll kill you too. Yeah, but some of us can't die. So I I, I prefer not to. I'm just here to watch it. I mean, I mean, fighting. It's so barbaric and it's pointless, really. When uh huh. So do you like chess? You're not there yet. <laughs> I was there. Yeah. Oh yeah, you were there. That's right. Tea. That's right. Okay. Sorry. He goes. Yeah, I, I like chess. I can play some chess with you. Are you a gambling man? No. How about a wager? My first five centuries, like, no. I was a gambling man. After that, it sort of I lost see. its appeal. How about wagering? On what? Oh, I don't know. Um, well, we're doing improv acting? <laughs> Chess um, match? Actually, you know what? Uh, if we're going to be fighting to the death, then like... Well, it's not fair. Yeah. I'm going to go and warn you right now. If you want to do a fight to the death, it's not fair I can't die. Uh, Hold on. Just in case you don't believe me. Uh -huh. You have a sword. I Stab me. Wait. Go ahead. I, don't want, I like you. You're cool. I'll do it. I have a sword. Okay. Do you have a sword? Oh, yeah, actually, sword defense. actually defense. before that happens... Uh, I've changed my mind about the tea. Can I get some coffee? Sure. Of course, a cup of coffee and hands it to you. Now, I have a question before I stab you. Yeah. You're not going to immediately attack me. I promise I will not draw in defense. 
and the explosions don't happen. It Corpse! Works. Straight through the skull. <laughs> you see the sword go in through, his sword go in through the bottom, come out through the top of the skull. He's, ah, wow. So like I was saying, I promise I hey, won't. That's nice. <laughs> I'm just going to pull my sword back and walk away. I'm walking out of the room. <laughs> and, and he's like, can you... And as you yes, pull it out, you see the wound close. I don't know that. I don't know that. <laughs> you see the wound close. Is there any, have I seen that? Any blood, blood on the blade? No. 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 Have I no seen blood. this No. <laughs> no blood? No, no, no blood on the blade. Yep, like, I'm oh. just going to start walking He's away. Like, so, as I was saying, I can't die. I'm not able to be killed. So the fighting would be all on your side. All for your loss. Not my game. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> That's why I was left here. Thanks for the thanks for the, the heads up. Um, you know, yeah. Anything uh, I can do. I mean, none of you are John, special anyway. Where's, I mean, where's, where's, where's that's just hurtful. John, where's the light coming from in this room? It looks like from all of the floor, ceiling, and walls. Okay, surfaces is, are is projecting the light. Correct. Not the not like all of the surfaces, like tabletop surfaces, but the walls, floors, and ceilings. Just the light seems to be emitting from those. So, so, like bio so is almost like bioloom. Is Can I try to shatter one? As you're walking down the hallway, you don't, I mean, you, you feel the wall, and it's smooth like metal. Go try it, it so I can still try the... So, John... Uh, I don't think it... Oh, no, the 12. Okay. Let's see. That it vibrates, it doesn't shatter. It's like... <laughs> and you guys are here. Throughout everything. Hey, what is that sound? Uh... uh Probably someone testing so the walls. So, what's, what's with all the white? Is that your favorite color? No, no, this is not my doing. Uh -huh. Okay. I didn't do the lights. Not my idea. I was like... Um, I was the like, other guy. The other guy's doing this. Oh. Yeah. He said we were being watched. Which guy? And that there was a shadow watching us. So he wanted to stop the shadows. And I said, okay, fine, whatever. It's not like I'm afraid of it killing me. And he goes, well, some of us can die. And I was like, True. Yeah, I can't get it. Am I getting close show? yet? Yeah, so at this point, you see him walking towards you. You see this. I don't see him. I've got an umbrella. I'm Sorry, invisible. You see, you see this big black material walk moving towards you. But God, I can never leave. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that in front of you. Shut and, up, Johar. And by the way, um, Xenia and Harry, well, Harry's in there with you, obviously. Xenia would have gotten in there with you, too. Um, Pharos would have stayed outside. Hmm. I, so about you this created it to have so shadows in there. Having a fire guy in there with it, probably not the smartest idea. So, so hey, he's, he's guarding so the back to make sure no one, no one comes in. Did I hear him say that his friend created it? Um, higher low? Yeah, you can just barely hear that. Possible? Would it be possible uh, for you to ask your friend to dim the lights a little? Some of us are photosensitive. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm terribly sorry about that. Um, uh, can you please kill the lights? Yeah, he's not talking to me. Sorry. I, I just do what I... I work with what I'm given. Which is obviously not much. No, 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 not really. Well, then, I, I cannot go in and partake in your parlay. Well, you can come in. I mean, you've got... I can. Have you come in yet? You're in the hallway. Yeah. Come I, on in. I cannot do that. Why not? Oh, can I get some Some of us sir? are photosensitive. Right, so how much? Sorry, one level, two, three? Nineteen. John? Yeah. Uh, at this point, I'm going to try and figure it out how to make this coffee the stickiest, darkest coffee I can, I can make. <laughs> roll. <laughs> okay. okay. I need some juice. <laughs> roll, roll for coffee construction. Yep. Yeah, seven. Okay, so you know, if you put like a couple sugars in there and a bunch of creamer, if it was non-dairy creamer, it'd be best. Uh -huh. But with regular creamer, you put it in there. If you can get the ground, well, that would be even better. I was going to say, the creamer would make it blonde, but it, he wants The it creamer dark. would make it blonde. He wants to make it dark, but he wants it sticky. And the creamer is going to add to the sugar to, to sort of allow it to stick on things. Just pure sugary coffee actually doesn't stick as well mm -hmm. as cream sugary coffee. Okay. By the way, it's good tea. 
Yeah, yeah. By the way, it tastes like okay, so the best a couple of, I've ever had. A couple of sugars. Uh, I, mean, I guess you can't see that, but you know. Yeah. This is really an odd request. Do you have non-dairy creamer? I'm sorry. No. Okay. Then, no, like, I, I don't. I don't just put any spin stock. it. Down here, you uh -huh. know, with all of these fumes, non-dairy creamer is combustible. I just, I, I try is to avoid it. Now? I, I, I try to avoid is. flame surfaces. Really? Fl I, flammable substances among did you ever want flammable to those substances. No. no. Okay, well, okay. Just uh, spit in it. You've got poisons. <laughs> you can literally coagulate the <laughs> coffee. <laughs> is that OC or O? That's, <laughs> that's Trevor talking. That, that, that's, that's, yeah, that's out of character. Oh, okay. he, can, he can, like, spit some... Oh, wait. Quasi is the best poison spitter. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know it's a skill say. I picked up as a five-year-old. <laughs> Wouldn't it be finished. venom? No. No, it's poison. No, it's poisons. All right, so you would you think know. it'd be venom, but you know that's a taken name. Anyway, oh, no, venom. I venom know. is I what know. you inject. Poisons are what you ingest. All right, so he's got you on that one. I, I didn't say a word afterwards. So. The white thing is uh, your friend's doing. You know, not my friend, my colleague. He was also hired by the city and hired me. Oh, do you like him? Was the guy who hired you named Tor Drake? You know, I feel more comfortable if you just bring that procession into here. I cannot do that, as I have explained. So, John, so, so either you kill the lights, I can't, or sorry. I stay in this hallway. I just like walked around like with my hand on the wall, like around the perimeter. Just roll. Ooh, I don't like this now. <laughs> Bad enough the chairs probably. Can you steal a skill through a manifestation of somebody's power? Twenty-five. Okay. So as you're walking along, just you know, rubbing your hand along the wall, at one point you feel hair and leather and then there's the wall again <laughs> but i'm gonna go back to that <laughs> hold up if you put your hand back on it here <clears throat> what are you doing i don't know i'm just feeling what this is that's me okay but who are you i'm not gonna tell you get your hand off my dick <laughs> I'm gonna just put that. I'm gonna continue walking. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, wait, hold on. I still have the tea in my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gonna flick it. Hi, hello. Uh, hi. Okay, so as you flick the tea, you actually see a hand. Briefly, it's, it's a very big <laughs> hand. Come out. It looks almost stone-like as it covers the top of the glass as you flick it. It's like, that's all right. And then it goes back in to the white wall. Did it come out of the wall? Yeah, it's just, just like, blending <laughs> in with the wall. <laughs> it just literally came out of the wall and then goes back into it. Hey, uh, Jason? <laughs> There's another person in here with us. I'm serious. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, I know you can't really see me. Uh, so yeah, he's right here. How long have you been down here? I'll, I'm John. Oh, I'm just like a... Three you hours? Are you yeah, knock really? on no, he pulls I'm out a, He pulls out a, a little, <laughs> like, a uh, pocket watch. Goes, John. Yeah, three oh, hours. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, go do that. Uh, no. Well, I guess no, you no. can see the floating teacup, actually. Yeah. My honor, I will not do anything to it. Just heirloom. There's a guy here. Uh, no one touches him but me. I, okay. You get it. Here. Okay. You know what to do. He, he actually offers him his watch to look at. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm going to continue. Nice. He hits the back. I, I'm gonna continue searching. You got a plan? Wall. Okay. I, I'm just, all right, good day. Just continue walking. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> meanwhile, in the hallway, Zena's like, we could go farther in. Nope. Okay. I'm assuming you're in the if tent with them. All of yeah. the walls are what glow. Yeah. This is as far as we go in, because then there are no shadows anymore. If we go further in, it's not as if I'm completely useless without the shadows. However, it does concern me that he would know uh, warrant that very specific 
mode of defense. Exactly. So we stay here where there's shadows. Also, as soon as I let go of this umbrella, it's yours. So Dominion. Um, that way you can yes. have your own shadows. Um, um, hold on, wait a second. Okay, yes. So Dominion, like, um, your friend uh, with uh, all this white effect, um, does he know Jonathan? He gets a perplex, perplexed look on his face. Is there a particular Jonathan that you know? Uh, yeah. I mean, I know a few. Uh, this Jonathan is, uh, is concerned with, you know, uh, light. He's made an extensive study of it. You could say, oh. you could say he's a master of light. You know, Jonathan the... I don't know. What do you call Jonathan? Jonathan, I call that guy an asshole for bringing light to the dark world. Yeah. That's what oh, I think of Jonathan. That, Jonathan. that was hey, that guy? Hey, hey, hey. He is an asshole. Hey, oh, language. that guy. Yeah. Language. Oh, right. That guy? Come right. on. Right. Um, no, I don't know. Do you know Jonathan? He looks over in the area where, you know, you were at before. <laughs> Do you know Jonathan? No, he's not talking to me still. Huh. Sorry. Um, I could talk. Um, yeah, I I don't know. Um, I don't know if he knows him. I I know like eight or nine Jonathans. One of them is really really good with the stock market. Uh, uh, saved me a lot of money and made me even more. Hey, can, oh, can you, you give me his number? Just, later on. Oh yeah, so his, his name is uh, Jonathan Branson. His number is five 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 one three one two. Gotcha. So Thank you. are you are you from Prime? Yes, usually. Oh, okay. Not right now, obviously. Right, like, you know. Kind of a name is Dominion. A good one, I like to think. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Make long, it yourself. Long, uh, long steeped in tradition and history. Uh huh. I, at so, least your last name is Legion. Correct. correct. No, Legion's his name. No? His no. buddy. No. No, you don't know a Legion? No. No, sorry, Wait, I don't know Legion, Legion. or Legion? First one, then the other. Oh, okay. Either, and really, I don't know any one by either name. Uh, uh, sorry. Um, the many? Let's see. The few? The mm. proud? Oh, the sorry. Marines! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got a question about uh, uh, your current assignment. Okay. Um, I'm, is I'm it... just waiting for all of you guys to come in here and take a load off. I wish I could do something with the lights, but I can't. But please is... feel free... Are We've you... got like another hour before I have to insist. Oh, that... so there's a there's a time limit. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, what's the time so... limit for? Well, to keep you guys here long enough. For. I really can't divulge that. Oh come on, you know you can. I mean, you're gonna kill us anyways. The only half of you. Okay, but which half? Whichever half wants to die. The bottom half. Okay, but know. which half wants to die? Um, really? What about the half that's already dead? What? <laughs> say that loud enough for the mic, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, say that loud enough for the mic. That was good. That was funny. Crazy. I'm sorry, man. Don't don't say the bottom. I'm power bottom, man. Uh -huh. See, it's not as funny the second time around. You're right, but it was still good. It was still good. It was amazing. So, you know what? At this point, uh, I've been talking with him for a while. So yeah. I'm going to say that maybe I can effectively use Silver Tongue yeah. again to spill... More of the, the, the Okay, response. go ahead. John, have I felt oh. anything else along the walls? Or no. no. That was the one thing. Just that one little... Just that one spot. Mm -hmm. And the hand was huge and a lot bigger than the area that... And you felt it like in the small section here. Yeah. Like that big. But the hand was like about the same size. Okay. But he was running his hand along at like yeah. this height, right? Yeah. And I hit his... <clears throat> okay. The berries. Yeah. So, um, my roll was a 10. Um, okay. My charisma, or charm is, is it charm? Charm and Nimbus. Charm and Nimbus, five and six. Okay. So you're, you're, you're trying to coax some more. What exactly do you say? Don't worry, I'll work your roll into the result. Oh, okay. Um, well, you know, uh, you want me to roll for you? 
Here you rolled. Hey, John, is the light here at least 70% white? No, it's 100% white, but you can't alchemy that. The white light into a black light? Change it to ultraviolet? Ooh, maybe. Go ahead and roll. If you roll really stupid high, I'll think about it. Maybe I Maybe I should roll for <coughs> Six. No, it's not going to work. I can just sit there and keep trying. <laughs> okay, so what do you say? Well, how are we going to, like, motivate ourselves to properly fight if we don't know when the stake's involved? I mean, I mean, all we did was walk into this room. The stake? Did we see stake? We, uh, we basically, we basically sent something down here with no idea what we were, like, going. I mean, you know what? Quite honestly, oh, oh. you haven't shown me anything you to said like to, something. Quite honestly, you haven't shown us anything worth fighting for. We might just like decide. You know what? This is boring. Let's fuck off. John, can I? Good point. Good point. Um, you, of course you can't just go back the way you came. Oh, is that the the only way out really is is through the ladder in the corner. Oh really? I didn't notice this the entire time. No. <laughs> and you don't still see it. Um. That's the only way out, and that's the manhole. It takes you out to the madness track or something stupid like that from the elemental plane of wherever the hell we are. That's really the only way out of here at this point. Um, so whether you guys want to come in or not, you might as well, because you can't go back the other way. All of those border closes have closed. Is it a 21? Is it is 21 high enough? Hold on. So, you know, there's that way's gone. You could try going into the liquids, but it I wouldn't recommend it. I've heard mutations happen within them. Um, the... Uh, I, oh, come just, on. You know, really? He just... My employer just wished to have a couple hours leeway so that they could get to... You know, they could get there to the next fragment okay. at least a day or two ahead of you. Okay. I mean, there's a four-day lag that you have to worry about. Uh-huh. Oh, time, time travel's weird around there? Uh, it's... Right it's, there. it's, it's it, it's a time dilation thing. Evidently, where that next fragment is, there's a there's a four day waiting period or something before the area makes itself known. What take a take a number like I I don't know. That's not part of what I'm doing. I'm mm -hmm. here to delay you. So please, if you want to fight, go ahead, stab away. I no, I already did that. Yeah, I know. So can I like go to the corner that he pointed at? Yeah, you can walk over there. Kind of like, do I feel a ladder or anything? Yeah. No, you feel Definitely. metal and metal. So, so, metal. so basically, you feel a ladder. It feels like there's a wall. Yeah. So basically, you're here to be a tar baby and like absorb all our damage and like still live. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm here to kill half of you. I would like to do this democratically. Definitely. If any of you want to die, just step forward and I'll kill you, and then the rest of you can leave. Didn't you say something about experimentation? Oh, true. I, I'm willing to do experimentation for half of you if you want instead. What kind of experimentation? I just touch you. Yes, but what would you like to experiment each of, on each of us? By touching you, I will. F that will be my experiment. I want to see what happens. If you touch us, I'm getting a yes. lot of So how fast does this mutation happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, usually quickly, because sometimes it takes a year, but normally like seconds. Bare hand on the rope. I mean, I'm, I'm, I just, you know, I'll just skin to skin, one touch. It's all over thick. Oh fucking hell! Are you sure? I. You okay. know, I'm not offering this unless on. half of your group accepts. Come on, you bunch of ponzies! Get in here and participate. Get this and no. I'll be nice. It can be the lower half. Through is Meaning three really instead of, there's seven they're of you. Off just limbs. So three instead of four. Here, I'll sit. This is what No, no, it's just, just so long Hold as three of you. Do we get to run an experiment on you? What do you have in mind? Uh, well, we, I don't know what they did to you. Except apparently they ran a sword through you. Oh, yeah, yeah, they shoved me through the skull, it was great. Wait, did you actually feel that, or...? Oh, yeah. Every second of it. Does it hurt? No, nah, not anymore. Do you mind if uh. I do a vivisection and uh, draw and quarter you? You still haven't seen me. I, I apologize. But I am a bit of a big guy that's light-sensitive. No, I know. I Well, you're not as light-sensitive as you like to make... as you like to play, but that's okay. Oh, no, it enrages me. Yeah. <coughs> Again, 
families being what they are. I understand. Mm -hmm. So, do you mind if I run that experiment real quick just to see if you have any extra organs or missing ones? I mean, I don't have any organs, really. I'll I'm a bit of a doctor. It. You know, no, you're not. Oh, I am. Sure, if you say you're more of a sculptor than anything. Yeah. If what I've been, if the, a picture, of the pictures that I've seen, you're more of a sculptor. Wait, so you have no organs? Not really, no. What do you have? Skin, mostly. No. Skin is an organ. The skin That's is the largest that, organ. That is skin the, is the largest organ. organ. Yeah. 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 What about a brain? I mean, I assume there's one in there. Can we check? Uh, I think he already did with the sword, <laughs> if you want to look. I know, we can just, you know, sort of thing. I realize he can't see me, I'm just lost. I made that motion. If you guys want to do this stuff to me, it'll just delay you longer, but sure, whatever. Otherwise, we just need two more volunteers amongst you. So, here's the thing. Come on, you I bunch of ponzies. Like Harry's like... Yeah, so, uh, do so why doesn't Vlaka volunteer? What was that, Harry? N nothing. Nothing. <laughs> He's just a chicken shite, that's why. We could volunteer yeah. him. Who? Harry. No, Enzinia. that's all right. Thanks. So, Dominion. And Senior. Uh, yeah. I just want to kill you guys. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> I, I found decapitation works best. I see. Um, With what? Are you a magic decapitator? Something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, oh. I'm, I'm really good with a sword. Okay. Oh. I remember. Okay. How are you, uh, mm. how are you at fisticuffs? Um, pretty good. Right. Been practicing for about 500 years. Mm -hmm. hey, so I got a question. The, my blade disappeared. Can you get it back for me? If I survive? Wow, you're negotiating. I don't it? know how to do that. Well, it's easy. Just get a mirror. Go through the mirror. Find the hunter that has the thing inside of it. If you want to pay me to go find that blade for you, I'd be more than happy to do that. I, I don't have much, but I can't pay you soon. Oh, no. It'll cost a lot of money. So or I'd have to go the other side of the mirrors? Really? Yeah, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. So what It'll you're saying is, if you experiment on half of us, we can Three. buy you. If I experiment on three of you, I will count that as I killed half of you. What about your partner? I don't And you're just going to touch us, right? Yep, just one touch. That's all it takes. Not says. decapitate us. Correct. Okay. Oh, I was just talking about decapitation being a, the easiest way to kill people. So you're not going to kill us if you touch us. Correct. We're not seriously maim or incapacitate for all eternity. It doesn't guarantee that. I can't promise what my touch will do to you. I can promise that I'll do that instead of killing you. I hate both those options. It's, it's what I offer. I will volunteer. Okay. So that's Harry's two. Like, yeah, go for it. Good job. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we need one more volunteer. <clears throat> Very well. Then I shall also volunteer. Okay, but how do you? Like... But we're not stepping into the room with the light. Um, interesting. Um, okay, so I have three volunteers. Is that hey. right? Yep. Perfect. And he just sort of, like, starts walking around the room. He gets up from the stool, starts walking around the room. Now, now before you actually do, what about your friend? He said not to worry he, about He him. smiles. He was like, supposed to tell the other half that, of us, he right? He smiles, and he goes, hmm, interesting. And he, like, t sets it, goes to set his tea glass on nothing. He's, oh wait, <laughs> what am I doing? Reaches into his jacket, you see a sword come out as he cuts. <laughs> and you hear, thunk, thunk, thunk. and the lights die down. Puts the sword away. Oh, into nothing. This buddy. <laughs> Goes, okay, so the three of you, as the place is plunged in blackness. Wait, you just said. He lied. He lied. <laughs> what he you killed expect? his buddy. Did you know his co worker? Hold on, I'm gonna attach the hair to the sexual life partner. I'll attach the hair to the doll and <laughs> attempt to move around. It, it, the body moves around, but the head doesn't. So I, I do I see the which head? Is, so is, it, 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 it moves <laughs> a little bit and then it drops. I can't. I can't continue yeah, maneuver nope. it. 
And it was okay. Some of my volunteers. Uh, can I have some light in here, please? Uh, you killed I'm my plaything. Magic worker. Hey, we're in shadows now. I'm not a magic worker. Yeah. Hey, uh, Fer Pharos, hey, Pharos. Down. Looks like it's black down there. Can I come in? Hey. Yes. Yeah. Pharos flies don't get in. too bright. Light comes in. Oh, don't worry. I'm not planning on it. It's so light and there's shadows. Hey, I get you. rid of the umbrella. <laughs> yeah, Zinia's like, yeah, and she waves and it vanishes. So. Okay. So, uh, the three of you. So you and you and you. Well, we'll do it in order of volunteering. Oh boy. Got a bad feeling about this. No shit, really quick. Before you have him roll for me though, John, I do have oh, not. something <laughs> I know. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. One moment. Can I just stand in the corner where the ladder was? So I'm going to exact that plan as he is doing his thing. Yeah. So you can roll beforehand to see what should happen. Actually, let me double check me real quick before my, I... Because I came up with this plan, and I'm like, oh, this is a good plan. Without remembering exactly how this works. Okay. <laughs> he walks up and says, can you hold your hand out flat for me, please? And he just lightly touches his pinky into the palm of your hand. Just for less than a second. Right. He's a, he takes his finger back and he looks at you. Huh. Interesting. You feel nothing. It's interesting. Oh, there it is. Hey, what you see? Uh-huh. Oh, there it is. Everyone else, roll perception rolls. <laughs> That is with the foot, with, with the shadows, do I see my shadow changing? Nine. No. No? Plus right. 13 is 25. 25. 11. 11. 13. 13. Okay, so you guys see Ivan's skin get just almost pitch black for a brief second, and then it goes back, and his hair gets a little more red. Oh, not great. I okay. the redder. <laughs> and he goes... And he goes, oh yeah, there it is. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey. Oh, I like what I've done to you. Hey, what did you do? Well, do you want to know or not? I'm not sure if you'll it's like it. It's best to let you find out on your own. I mean, so. I can tell you. Hey, you show me. Give me just one second so I can actually Your hair's redder. Yes. Hey, my right. hair's redder! Also, awesome. just, just in case in the future if anything goes south, when I plan our step, can I bring someone with me or no? <clears throat> Not usually. Okie doke. You can try. You can possibly kill a person. But it's not. In the annals of history of your race, it hasn't always worked. There's been more experiences where people didn't come through than did. God. Bits and pieces survived. But not for long. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what is this? A certain uh, sci fi movie we enjoy? Is also the motion picture baby? Yeah. Where did that go? Uh, I think it went by the bag. Okay. And I think I'm wrong. I have no idea. Damn it. Just, that was amazing. I went into the shit. I went into the shadows. Okay. And it planar stepped. It was amazing. Yeah. Hey, this time of year, I wish I could I found it. Yeah. Okay. So, it was by the apple juice and what do you, so where on me do you want to touch? The middle of your palm. Left hey. or right? Your choice. Hey, which way is palm? I will put both hands out. Mm hmm. And then as he goes to touch me. Okay. Kinky. The moment he's about yeah. to touch me, I'm going to projection out the back. So you just leave your body there and your soul separate? Yep. Okay. I cannot be affected by anything that is not a mystical uh, attack to my spirit. Oh, funny thing you should say that. <laughs> Gone. Okay. It can only be attacked by another character with projection or by mystically based attacks. So. Thank you. Um, he reaches down with his pinky. Same pinky, mm -hmm. by the way. He reaches down and, and taps his, his pinky to the palm of your hand. 
and, and you project outward. Um, you get to perce roll a perception roll as well as everyone else. Um, you need a six or better. I have to roll double threes. Two and fours. A four. Roll a six exactly. That's a ten. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Eight. Eight. Sixteen. Four, that's twenty. Okay. <coughs> so, 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 so he taps your taps your palm and he goes like this really quickly and he goes, Oh. As you guys see him pull some webbing off. <laughs> he goes, Oh yeah, I know how it affected you. And that's that's beautiful. I had no idea. But they do say little ones are spiders. That's that's nice. John, what did you do? Is that it? Is that all we that's saw? It. That's all you saw. That's exactly what I so you see he goes like this and oh and you see him just take some webbing off and sort of I'll let it go. Back into my body. Okay. And you then you see a little web from a spinneret in the middle of your palm. <laughs> John, where, where do I see that thirty seven? That's what you see. Okay. <laughs> no, I have a spinneret now. God damn it. You know, I could cut that off. He walks up to you and goes, This should be fine. You're fucked. Devin Agari. It's been so long since I've seen one of you. Okay. Um, and he grabs you by the face. Whichever <laughs> palm you want. He reaches out. Holds his hand above yours and just taps his uh, pinky down real quick. Okay. Everyone gets to roll perception roll if they're looking closely. Excuse me, you don't need to roll. I'll tell you exactly 15. what happens to you. 13. 15, 15, 13. Above a 10. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> he taps. Um, you feel your skin get hard. You guys see little scales just spread out all over his exposed skin. His pale skin is now scaly. Very well. You're all dead to me. Cool. Well, half of you are dead to me. Hey, so thank you very much. <laughs> the other half aren't. <laughs> you, you go like that, you yeah. see little webs. Just, it only goes like... 10 feet. So now that your job is <laughs> done... Just out of that one spinneret. And the other I hand don't know nothing. which hand he used. Um, he used your right hand. Okay. So now that your job is done... In fact, he touched everyone's right hand. Yes. Oh yeah, the, the ladder is just oh, right yeah, there. I'm not worried about the ladder right now. So now that your job is done, you've completed the deal that you set out with your original employer. Yeah. You're no longer bound to any contract by them. There's always stipulations. Yeah, but don't do it. You so would you, be, would you be willing to divulge the information of your buyer? I can't. No, I don't care who his previous buyer was. I want you to kill Tordrake. I mean, it's a job. It's a job, right? But it's such a great experiment. What is? Tordrake. Okay, you can experiment with Tordrake and then kill him. Oh, I think you're missing my point. I already have. Oh. Uh, he's saying he's already did. <clears throat> it's not no, him. He's saying that he's saying Tordrake he's is the way he is because of this guy. Because of him. So... Separate question, completely different. Did you kill that guy? Him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Okay. Was that your... Like I said, right off of the shoulders. Was Was that your partner? Yeah. Yeah. Is Dominion your real name? It's the name I go by. If I were to call it, would you hear? I don't know. It depends on if you call me on a phone or not, I guess, maybe. Mystic phone. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> John, I'm not going to give you that name. <laughs> nice one, Lola. That's good. 
Sean, while this is going on, so I'm going to like go over to the, the decapitated body. Okay. It's like, okay. Okay, so what you see is... There's blood getting all over the, 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 the floors. <laughs> oh, the floors aren't white anymore. Oh, they're dark. They're, they're dark, <laughs> just like the rest of the tunnels. Right. Where, um, you see this body, it's about three and a half feet wide at the shoulders. Um, you can't tell if it's a male or female body. Well. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. Um, and, and parts of it are very deformed. Well. Uh, so <laughs> it's from like the elbow down, the arms are like that of a giant. Uh-huh. From the elbows up, it's more like a dwarf's arm. The, the legs are very thin, like what you'd expect an a sprite to have. I mean, it's just no two bits of this make any sense at all. It's Frankenstein's so, monster. But it doesn't it look like uniform, someone stitched or? it together. Is it it looks like uniform, it was or? made that way. Is no, it's, it's in, it's in uh, looks like just plain simple tunic and breeches, like medieval style clothing. Huh. Sort of like what Trevor's wearing. So does it have weapons? No, no weapons. Pouches? Uh, yeah, there are some pouches. Take the pouches, take okay. a look through them. Um, it's, there's some grass in one of the pouches. Like just regular grass, not like wacky weed. Uh-huh. Um, Jazz cabbage? <laughs> um, in another pouch, it, there's like two copper pieces in it and that's it. Um, the third pouch has got a whole bunch of little rolled up scrolls, like Almost like you know those uh, those horoscopes you go to buy at the grocery store. Yeah. About that size. But on parchment. Okay. Those and by a whole up. bunch, I mean like twelve of them. Those are probably useful. So take that birch. <laughs> I actually, take all the pouches. Yeah, meta pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> take take all the pouches. Okay. <laughs> Like, yeah, Dominion doesn't seem to even notice that you're doing it. Mm-hmm. More like Dominion doesn't care. <laughs> hey, so if I hit your hand again, would you be doing anything else to me? No. Okay. You're dead. Hey. You're, so, you're, they're dead to me. Hey, so I'm dead to you too then. Oh, no. No? No, as far as I'm concerned, I, I killed the other half of your group. Ah. So, what exactly did you do? Or are you just going to let it be a secret and play out? You will find out. But, just know that I can find you. Hey, I kind of figured as much. So what you're saying is we're dead, but not the ones you touched. As far as I'm concerned, you never were alive. But they now have life. And that's important. No bulls, no glory. (laughs) All right, so... You you always have red hair? I... (laughs) So... If, see, if, if I thought you, you were just copying here. me now. Okay, so, uh, still no. Oh, I don't know. I haven't checked. I haven't Roll. checked in a long time. I mean, literally. 15. Oh, we're yeah. In the oh, it's in the room that it's, we're It's right in front of you. Oh, it's him. him? Yeah. It's him. Uh, yeah. It's him. Pretty much. Yeah, he is. Uh, <laughs> hey, so uh, you said your employer wanted you to buy time. So uh, yeah, he, he was hoping for at least two hours, yeah. but, you know, at, at this point... Happened. You know, you guys have already spent a couple hours out there, but he was open for an additional two. I've only taken up like a half hour of your time. So, do you know where we need to go to? Because we're also looking for these fragments, you see, and that's what brought us down here. Yeah, he said he left you a clue. He was surprised you guys survived the trap. No, 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 no. Why, why would he? Uh, does that mean he got the one that was down there? Is that what that is? And he set up, he had enough time to make that trap? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. No, I mean, he didn't make all of the points, points of the trap. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to say that there were two other people with us. Who helped. Yeah. And what happened to those two? Well, they went with him. Do you know where we need to go next? I should say. Were they the ones marking the walls? All yeah, right. yeah, they thought that was a great touch to lead you in. Gotcha! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> It was nice meeting you. Thank you very much for the coffee. Oh, don't worry. I'll be back in touch with the three of you. Can I get another cup of the tea? Oh, sure. He walks over to pour you a nice cup of tea. It's It's still a beautiful white cup and everything. All right, so meet now. Oh, sure. He takes some... Not bad. Not 500 years old. Tea. 
Hell it's good tea. You don't want to ask him about you. this fucking note. You know what? I mean, I mean. Huh? You don't want to ask him about this fucking note. It doesn't. It doesn't say where you're supposed to go in there. I mean, it says a map. Did you? Did you? Did you have no hand in me? Get the clothes. No, not really. No, no. I. Uh, I <laughs> had Bless nothing you. to do. I, I helped with the box. Put the box together. That was kind of fun. Mm. What'd you think of the box? I don't know why I keep making hand symbols instead of talking. <laughs> it's like your characters, except all that, all anyone's seeing is this. It's just like, just invisible. This. <laughs> Come on, John. So, Enough chit chat. Would you be I'm willing to work with us? Okay. Um, no, actually, I'm going to be meeting him um, when he gets after he gets the next piece. So are you still under his? Do you know where he's yeah. going for that? Okay. Um, he he said it was a uh, north. Of the Isle of Titans, but I don't know north which direction, so I'm going to go to the Isle of Titans and book passage from there. Which direction? You don't know which direction is north? Wait, what's north? So my understanding, exactly. So my understanding is that north is variable a little bit in the realm of madness. Really depends on which north you're talking about. Okay, no, but seriously, what's north? north? That's a great one. I like that. Yeah. So, I mean, there's there's three different norths. Northwest, north, 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 Wait, I'm sorry. There's multiple yeah, north. Hey, yeah. is there multiple west and east no, and no, south? No, no, no. There's only one east and one one west, but souths do vary. True south, magnetic south, and gesture south. Correct, which is usually out yeah, just as bung home. So if I if I recall correctly, the next place well, is here, yeah, and then on. the other one is yeah, literally. Place. What? Huh? Yeah, pencil. Yeah, what? Got a pencil. I do. I mean. I can write in blood. No. That hey, here you go. He pours you a, uh, a small flask. He pours you full, a small mm. flask of oh. the mead. I just set it right here. God. My throat. He pours him a hand. small flask of the mead. Well, thank you. A gift. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, no. You've already gotten my gift. Hey. I can't so wait where, to see what happens. So where, hey, where, these, nice. where does this ladder lead to? Oh, it leads to a sewer entrance. Like I said, it, it puts you out pretty much right on the madness track, I believe is what it's called. Haven't really so, been to Gold City much. I don't know. So this will take us still into Gold City. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you're in Gold City. We're okay. in the elements of plane of metal. Okay, I was just making sure it's not so, an exit gate. Yeah, no, 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 no. But it should put you really close to the gates to the city. I don't understand this shit. John. It's true. Is it? <coughs> good one! It's a good drawing, actually. Mm -hmm. That was so really good. That was really nice. Up the ladder. I'm done. Okay, it's like, done. He's, he's wasting our time yeah. now. So, so, so you, you go up the ladder. Enough talk! I was trying to see if we could figure out where we were trying to go, and we do now. The answer is Carbook here is the next stop. Because that was the other place that we saw, but our original plan was to go to Karma Keys, because that was where the next kind of closest, but this one's kind of six to one. So if we're trying to kill Tordrake, if we want to stop him from getting the thing, we right, go there go. first. I'm talking out of character. Okay, so do you climb up the, or sure. do you climb or do you fly? But look up, how far up is it? Uh, looks like quite a ways. I climb. So it's a little tunnel. Oh. A little? I mean, oh. it looks like it's made for like an average person to go up. I will, I will fly up. Okay. Yep, you go up to the top, there's a manhole cover. Push it up. Push it up, move it to the okay. side, and you literally come out. Is there room for me or do I need to shrink? You need to shrink. Right, I do so. And even then you're 
it's a tight fit for you to, to get up and get out. Um, so, right, that map would be better. I can't do much. Whoa. So, empty. I'm here's the right. madness track. Right. Yeah. You guys come out literally right there. Oh, we're gonna have to go all the way north to pick up Joe Cal. Yeah, Joe Cal's all the way up. Here. I can. Okay. Joe Cal. Roll. Okay, his soul appears next to you. Oh, this is weird. Yep, come this way. What's you know going? Oh yeah, I've been there. That's your guys' entrance, and that you're like you just came to the city. Yep, near get it here now. How'd you get there? We walked. Wow. Get here now. Okay. And um, I can and bring your. And then he's gone. <laughs> Didn't he have somebody else with him too? No. Nope. Zania oh, came with. That's right. Okay. She didn't want to come with. I'm assuming everyone and else I climbed up and out. Go he goes up last. Eh, not yet. Did he get to Not yet. No. I didn't want to climb out yet. Okay. Just had to check something. Okay. So you guys go up. Oh man, I'm being forced up apparently by him. I yeah. want to stay down there. Just before he starts up. All day. Strike. It doesn't light. <laughs> it doesn't light. There's not enough air to burn. <laughs> and you hear cursing and Gaelic. Um, so you guys, you guys come up out of there. Um, again, it's a, for you. It's no problem. For you, it's a tight fit. You probably don't even go through there. Well, if you, <laughs> like I just shadow my way through. Man, I haven't been able to shadow in like a half an so hour. I need this. Up. Like all oh, this. John, no, no, that's too late. I probably uh, wouldn't have been able to forcefully carry him up. Yeah, probably not. So no, but I'm gonna climb up if I see him trying to strike a match. I'm not gonna try to stay down there for much. Yeah, yeah. So Harry was like, "Oh, he's going up for," and then sees him like with a match. He's, "Excuse me, Vlock, I think I need to go first. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you wanted to wait, didn't you? No, no, no it's all right. Excuse me. No, pardon, no, pardon, pardon, pardon. it's okay. I'll just take my time. <laughs> go faster." <laughs> You know? <laughs> I can just cause an earthquake, make him drop everything. <laughs> Stall him! Don't make the reward is worth this. Anyway, so you guys you guys all get out onto the madness track. Joe Cal is opens the portal. Is he able to slide it off and burn fumes? Like he's been wanting to since the edge You can heat up the fumes. Okay. All you want. But it won't combust. No matter how high he gets it? No. <laughs> so when, once you get more towards the top... The fumes don't get up that high because they're they're too heavy. So as soon as you get out of it, when you're around more oxygen, there isn't enough of the flammable fumes to ignite. So he so strikes and drops the match. Yeah, you can do that, and then hopefully you might have a chance, but you'll have to do that after you get out of the tunnel or the manhole. Well, he. Are you sure you, you want to do that? Because that could cause massive structural damage to like city. everything. Look, worst case scenario. We get you banished. Old. I've been banished from one plane already. I don't want to get banished from no, two. No, 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 no. Worst, worst case scenario, systems. we can't be banished <laughs> because the realm stops existing. Well, he lights, for you guys, I can kind of just... He lights the wick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then drops that. But we can't okay. be banished if, you know... Everyone's dead. Exactly. Joe Cal. <laughs> okay, hi, guys. Oh, okay. hey, what's up? Hey. Man? Missed you. Yeah, no, that was, that was weird. How did you do that? Like, make me over here, but do it was what? over there. It was huh? weird. I don't know what you're it was like, I had an out of body moment. <laughs> it was weird. No idea what you're talking about. Okay. So, we're leaving? Uh, uh, yeah. I guess so. Well, do we need to, like, uh, get supplies and stuff? Or. <laughs> do we need to waste time? Mr. I'm in a hurry. No, I mean, like, do we need to get food and stuff, or are we good? Harry's like, I've got food. I'm still a little full. I don't eat. Well, look at you, mister. I don't eat. I'm good. Xenia puts her hand on your shoulder. Uh-huh. And goes, did you ever get your money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? You know, give me 
give me an hour. <laughs> I'll fly over. <laughs> and now let's have Joe Cal teleport you there. Oh, hey, I, Joe I don't teleport. Make you a portal, portal there. Too. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. To okay. the betting hall. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know where that is. Next okay. to the arena. I know where the arena is. Take it to the arena. There. Okay. Meet to the arena. Okay. After you. I don't know how Velaco knows Fly about through. this, but he does. <laughs> okay. So go through and go to the betting hall. Okay. I was like, I turned in my, 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 my Your ticket? ticket. My, my two tickets. Yeah. Who knew? Who knew? This is, this is amazing. And he, uh. To paradise. He, uh, slides two pieces of metal towards you. Just, there you go. I didn't say the whole thing. Okay, so. How do I read these? Oh, um, so you go to buy something and you hand it to them. Uh -huh. And they'll be able to. Here, here. And he, he like. I'm going to act like it's a transaction. I'm not going to charge you anything. And he holds it up. And as he holds it up, you see uh, the edge uh -huh. change into different kinds of metal. Oh. So this tells us from platinum to copper how much you have. Oh, okay. And most of it, like good half of it's platinum at this point. Okay. Cool. So, you know, it's, I mean, it's, yeah. He had two of them because uh -huh. one of them, and he holds it up, and it's all platinum. Okay. Let you know. Okay, here you go. That's your account. That's your winnings. Congratulations, awesome. sir. So, hey, you know, I'm not from around here, obviously. Um, where would I go to get, like, special materials, like, special metals? Um, when you say spe I mean, all of us feel special? Um, I don't know what you mean. Is that racist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever heard of graphene? Hair Um, hi. Uh, no? We don't talk okay, so it's an exotic, so... Uh, oh, from, like, the keys? Um... Actually, can can I... Do I have any samples of graphene on me? I don't know. Look. Yeah, yeah, you know. I show <laughs> He takes a lot, lot, wow. I see the missus, let me look at this as closely, that's for sure. Oh, that's nice. That's some, that's some nice structure to that. Yeah. So I yeah. need I need a lot of this made. Um, I. Hmm. I would I would say probably somewhere along the Falling King track. Okay. Maybe Rawls Lane. Okay. That area of town. They might have something like that. So it's a little bit too rich for, for our area here, though. Okay. I don't know of a specific store that would trade in that. Okay. Um, where is it on the map? Like, Fallen Kings? Yeah, right around Fallen Kings and Realms. He's getting his four to six day lead. Fallen kings or fallen knights? Um, fallen. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. What did I say, kings? Fallen knights track, and Rosalind. Okay. Somewhere in that range. Um. I mean, that's the more of the exotic stuff. Okay, so that's fairly close to here, right? Like. Um. Well, as, as things go, sure. You know what? Um, I mean, we out. are, it's, it's on the opposite side of the arena and down the, the way a bit, but, you know, yeah. So I go back to uh, where the portal opened. Is it still open? Yeah. Okay. Um, walk through. I was like, um, you know what? We can come back here, right? Yeah. Okay. So. He closes the portal. Provided it's not blown the fuck up. <laughs> well, can't be book. let's uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that character. Everybody was painted back. And like, I got my, I got my winnings. Like, um, we can use it to buy graphene. Like, when we come back. So we're slaves. So let's let's get going. So. Harry's like, nothing, nothing. So, Joe Kell. <laughs> <laughs> he saw what I did. Let's go. Joe yeah. Kell, have you yeah. been to Titan Isle or the Titan Isles? Um, not really. 
Um, Have you ever been to Karamba Pier? <laughs> oh, yeah, there was a party once, yeah. Can you get us there? It'll take a few tries. Okay. Yeah, yeah, after a little bit. You know, little hops here and there to get there. <laughs> sort of mentally retrace my route. Okay. I went to that party. Cool. Hey. So, yeah. Let's get back to the plane of madness before... Five? Yeah. It's mad. Four. Three. So he opens up a two. So are we walking out or do you yeah. want me to open up? Go, go. Open it One. Go, go, go. He opens the portal and you guys step through. Hi. Okay, so you guys stop me for I need everyone to roll perception roll. Oh, <laughs> that is six. Sixteen. Ten. You don't notice. Cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> what? Sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> ten. Eighteen. Eighteen. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, so much about going back later, George. Okay. So you guys go through the portal, and behind you, you hear. As the portal shuts behind you. <laughs> Ivan? Did you just blow up the city? I think so. Better? You <laughs> asshole! I needed that city! Oops. Well, at least you have whatever you got. Hey! What's the conversion rate on that? Yeah. What's, what's the conversion rate on winnings that are just two cards? <laughs> the monkey rate says hi. <laughs> I... Oh, I'm sorry. Did you need your dwarf slang bolts? Oh, and at this point, Pharaoh <laughs> goes, hey, Harry, can you hand me the manor? Yeah. He hands it to him. Okay, I think we need to go to sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> and the manor springs into life. I'll see you guys inside. Don't worry, I'll tell him you're with me. Hey, you stepped right behind him. This <laughs> is <laughs> Harry struck it up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Harry, so he Harry goes into the in manor. Yep, he goes in the manor. Harry goes in the manor. Ferris goes in the manor. I'm gonna dig underground. I'm gonna tunnel underground. Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> it does. I can finally. I feel at home. Just oh, sleep sweet dirt. <laughs> sweet beautiful oh, dirt. dirt. Yeah. But we're in front of the gates to Gold City. No, no, you're off to the side of the gates to Gold City. Yeah. So you're near the entrance of Gold City. Okay, I'll find out if he's destroyed the city first. And then I'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jason, do you want some help with that killing? And that... No, I want to do it all myself. Well, you're selfish. And <laughs> this, this is where we're going to end tonight. So thank you all for watching, and thank you guys all for participating, and making it even more fun than I anticipated. So this is great, and uh, we'll see you guys next Sunday. See you Sunday. Or see you Thursday for four